What up, my freaks? Ruinous Insight here with part three of my Total uh, Diablo 4 stream. Damn, that, that was basically muscle memory at this point. Mouth memory? That's an awkward turn of phrase, unless you giggle. Anyway, we're back for another round of a roguish ways. Is everything looking good in terms of audio and stuff? Can everybody hear me? I'm still getting concerned at every start of one of these things because uh, it's all a little bit finicky. Sometimes it feels like the uh, the stuff slows down, but it seems okay, I'm not sure. As in the uh, internet connection or the bitrate or whatever. Maybe we should turn some stuff down. Anyway, uh, let's see. Looking okay from this angle, so let's start again. Total War Diablo Hammer, yes. That would be ideal, actually. Wait, there was a uh, there was an action RPG for Warhammer, wasn't there? 40k one. Uh, uh, 40k Inquisitor, I think it was called. I never played it, though. Yeah, some people said it was okay, but, then other, but other people complained about it. I never got a chance to actually try it out myself, unfortunately. All right. Also, speaking of the audio, I uh, I slightly fiddled with it between the episodes, so it should be a little bit quieter. Or at least the effects should be a little bit quieter as compared to my voice. As uh, hopefully it'll be better now than it was last time. All righty, now what the heck were we doing? Oh, one thing I did between the episodes was to go to this place, the Light Swatch, the one that we had to redo, uh, just so that I didn't have to redo it uh, on stream, as that would have been a waste of time. I'm gonna try to run this stream at exactly three hours this time around, and I'm gonna be streaming throughout the week at various times of day in these like shorter sort of segments, uh, three hours here, here, and there, just to figure out what is better in terms of stream time for everybody. I think I'll... well, some of them will be on Twitch and some of them will be here. This is a test week after all, so uh, preparation for all that and everything and seeing which platform I like better. I actually wanted to do Twitch today, but I couldn't quite figure it out. I actually wanted to do both at the same time, um, but I couldn't find a free way to do that. Uh, at least not one that uh, made me happy with my relatively weak internet connection. Anyway, uh, we were heading out to the next story element, which is here, Corvalar, and it looks like quite a ways to travel, and I don't see any nearby waypoints, so we're gonna have to book it all the way over there. Damn. Alrighty, hey guys, uh, let's see, hmm, well, three hours relatively short segment, I mean, for a stream, I would think, uh, yeah, we still can't unlock horse, so yeah, we're running there, alright, welcome to running simulator 4, I guess, damn, is there really no way to get there, well, I guess we can stop by to do the dread martyr, which is close by, at least that way I feel like we're doing something on the way to the quest, Though, yeah, I swear, there's probably a waypoint, like, right there that I didn't get to last time. Alright, there we go. Also, while I was doing that uh, little side quest thing, like the redo of that side quest that we did in the first episode, I uh, I picked up another crossbow. It wasn't all that much better than our previous crossbow, but it does have two sockets and one of them is a skull, so now we have five, plus five life on kill from that. Also, as I understand, two more levels until horse, so not much more running, hopefully. I do wonder how long it'll take to get to max level, which is 50. We're already at level 28, which is decent, but we're still in Act 1, and I assume that there are three acts, judging by the, uh, and judging by the main quests. No, alrighty, and... Okay, no, still more running. Alright, you guys leave us alone. We're just gonna run past all these guys to get to the next area. Also, I think on Twitch I'm gonna try to do a little stream of both Diablo as a second character, as well as I'm gonna try Bolt Gun. Everybody was talking it up last stream, and now and now I'm jealous and I want to try it myself, so... Yeah, hopefully that'll be fun. But I'll upload everything I do on Twitch to YouTube as well at a much higher quality. As I understand that the quality there has to be lower... I mean, it has to be lower here as well. Which I guess is the unfortunate aspect of YouTube, as in recordings are higher quality than streams. Uh, but uh, YouTube just saves your stream, so you're not going to re-save it, if that makes any sense. That takes a long time to kill anything with the basic attack. Yeah, everybody's been hyping a bolt gun, so now I have to try it, damn it. Uh, greet death open arms. Okay, so it's not one of those... Stupid emote things. I really don't like these. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? Greet. 
Is there a greet? Wave, cheer, wave, wait, yes, point, thanks, sorry, help. I... huh. Which one is greet? Is it wave? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Uh, let's true here, save changes, and wave. Greetings. Ah, he said greetings, but nothing happened. Game. How's it going? Huh. Greet death, he said greetings. Okay, maybe... How's I couldn't have done this one before because we... Ah, okay, well, I don't care enough to keep doing it, so I'm just gonna keep on going. I really don't get those the point of those little emote quests. I mean, are they just, like, trying to do that so that, oh, you spend real money on, uh, on emotes? Because that's not gonna happen. The extra money for the early access is already a little bit much. I don't really ever play shooters, though, so I'm nervous about Bolt Gun myself. It's been ages. Can't hit the broad side of a barn. Alrighty, let's go- oh, wow, this place looks kinda neat. Hmm, it's not- I mean, there's a bunch of evil grubs and stuff around, but it's more bony than demonic. Ah, reminds me of vampire counts. Alrighty, weathered gloves. Yeah, pretty much every item we pick up at this point is starting to be uh, yellow. Well, maybe not every item, but a lot more than we were getting before. Still no, uh, still no legendary, though. Is that what they're called? The, the highest level of items? Ah, come on, get vulnerable, man. There we go. Time. Yes. Explode, please, but don't explode on us. No Slaneshi giggle. And sturdy boots, drifter's boots, lots of boots today. Hmm, perhaps it won't be a pants day. Which would be a shame. Uh, also, what are you doing here? The Dread Martyr, Slay Lord Abacus. Oh, right, that was the guy that uh, we found a dead knight or a dying knight. And he was like, he killed us all. Right? Alright, well. Is that him? Collect animus from animus carriers. Uh, wait, we're in the right place, right? Yeah, I think I think we just have to do that to open the next gate or whatever. Thanks, plague maggots are everywhere. Wait a second. The last place we were in where there were all these plague maggots, we also saw a bunch of flying units, but there are none here. So I assume that, uh, that time at least, I assumed that that was part of their life cycle, or maybe they're not actually the same creature at all. Now these guys take a lot of damage when they're vulnerable. I mean, go figure. Alright, trying to speed it up a little bit. We are still in Act 1 after all, and I'd love to see the entirety of this. Or chest. Chest? I missed a chest? Where? Oh no. Oh, this is gonna bother me now. Uh, uh. Oh! Wow! Okay, I- there was no way I was spotting that. It blended into the ground. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? I have no idea how you spotted that. Now I'm quiet because I'm looking at the ground very intently. Alright, well... If I miss another one, I miss another one, because... Clearly I'm blind. Alright, there we go. And, oh right, we leveled up. What were we going to put points in? Okay, we're still not at the ultimate area. We could try out the death trap instead of the poison trap combination. I have been really enjoying the poison trap combination, but we could give it a try just for fun. Let's try it. Uh, one, two, three. And one, two, three. There's no other special things. When poison trap or death trap activates, you gain 4% increased critical chance against vulnerable and crowd-controlled enemies. Huh. So this is basically just straight up 12% increased critical chance. If you max it out, I take it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's just straight up increased 12% critical chance. Okay, let's give it a try. And we are going to put Death Trap here instead of Poison Trap. Alright, let's see how effective this one is. It seems that the Death Trap actually does less direct damage than Poison Trap does, but the fact that it sucks enemies in, Slaneshi Giggle, might make it still worth our time. Let's do that, see how that works. Okay, they all died, but now we have it on cooldown for 40 seconds, so we can't use it again. 
It feels like it's better at clearing mobs than it probably is at clearing bosses. Like, everything's on cooldown for ages now. Though I guess we built our core skill to specifically go after... Alright, let's see how effective this is against bosses. When they get there, anyway. There we go. Or not boss, well, I guess elites, right? I still gotta relearn all the terminology, though I imagine at least some of the terminology has changed between this game and the uh, other iterations. Alright. Not too bad. What is this? Artillery Shrine? Nah, Lethal Shrine. I always get excited about Artillery Shrine. I don't even know what Lethal Shrine does. Also, can you shoot this thing? Yes, you can. Uh, what does this do? Fate Guide's Deft Hand. All your strikes are critical strikes. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Blue stuff. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna ignore these zombies. I wanna go here and pop that Death Trap. Lord Adatus. Lord Deditus. Damn. <laughs> okay, when everything is critical strike, a boss die in two hits. That, uh, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Certainly makes me think that it would be nice to keep uh, going through that quick upgrade tree, then. Just judging by how... how hard that guy died. Bloody parchment. Ooh. Killed for my faith. Burned and tortured. When I died in that forsaken place, it was without the grace of delight. Their path to salvation led me only into darkness. No, it is blood that gives me purpose. I will bring the life of this world. Whatever. All right, there, Lord Avitus. You need to. You need to chill. Yeah, I've been wanting to try out the shrines when actually you know, using them on bosses before, but I never managed to do it until now. Alright, what are we doing here? Is there anything? Oh, we just... Hmm. I guess there should be another reward in here somewhere, based on the fact that we're still collecting animus, even though the boss mob is dead. The place clearly hasn't closed. But there's clearly other stuff to do. Yeah, the full combo does a lot of damage, like everything dies when you full combo, but then everything goes on cooldown. It's a very different feeling build just by changing out Poison Trap from, uh, or a Poison Trap and Death Trap. It becomes first build rather than a sustain build. There we go, that sounds like right terminology. Alright, now I have to go back because I don't know whether I missed more chests. Ah, what is this? Okay, now it's just a thing on the ground. <laughs> oh man, that, that one chest spooked me and now everything's screwy. Animus urn? Animus urn? Hey, 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 I'm trying to touch the urn. Get not enough animus to fill this urn. Oh. Oh, you have to fill the urn with animus. Okay, I assumed that the urn was full of animus. And we would... Uh, That was a rude charge from this bloated corpse fiend. Good yeah. All right, well, I guess we're looking for more animus now. Uh, maybe go this way first. So that we don't have to go back up that way or down that way. Ooh. Healing potion. It seems like I've been using the healing potions. Thus, it does seem like that five extra life on kill. Well, it doesn't seem like much when you only have a 500 HP. It's not too bad. At the very least, it does seem like it's doing something. <laughs> uh, you require more Vespine gas. Oh man, yeah, that, that triggered some memories. Never really got into uh, into the newer StarCraft. I played the heck out of Bl out of Brood War, but that was about it. There we go, the combo. Yeah, it takes about half HP off this guy. Not too bad. Two of them at once, too. Wink. Slash so your giggle. A lot more slash your giggle today than last time. I guess I'm getting into my groove. Ha <laughs> ha 
But the way that he teleports just as soon as he gets attacked, I mean, it's a smart move, but it is quite annoying. There we go. Another fur-lined robe. Okay, we're gonna have to check out all of these yellow items. You know what? Let's fill up on yellow items first, and then we'll check them out rather than doing them one by one. I feel like we can save a little bit of time that way. Also, how's everybody liking Diablo as a uh, as a sort of streamed game? Is it entertaining to watch? I feel like it's... I don't know, it lends itself better to the streaming format than it does to the recorded format. Especially once we complete the story and get into the end game, which is all just killing bosses and uh, trying to get to legendaries and all, right? Or conversely, Warhammer needs those cinematic battles for that could be a glorious spectacle, which lends itself better to the uh, a recording format. And I imagine Bolt Gun, for example, which we've been discussing, lends itself more to the streaming format as well. Which is, I guess, which is, I guess, another reason to try to do both when I have time, at least. But I got the week off, and maybe two weeks off. I gotta, I gotta discuss that. We'll see. One of the neat aspects of my job is that I do have a decent amount of flexibility when I can work a lot of overtime and then take lots of time off. Which is why sometimes I disappear for like months at a time. Or weeks at a time, rather. Well, there have been a few times when it was a couple months. Alright, and we are looking good here. Okay, I take it that's the last Animus, man. Ah, oh. Yeah, see? We well, got 20 seconds cooldown on that death trap. Hmm... And it makes me want to wait to actually set down the death trap for the combo. And ah, uh, ah, uh, we've been spotted. All right, come here, come here, and good. And where are you? Death trap. Down you go, and you're gonna teleport, but you're still vulnerable. And yeah, not bad. I mean, it is an ultimate skill, but it is nice to save a specific skill for a uh, for an elite. As I bleed out my last among the corrupted tombs of those who might have been my brothers. I have hunted these wretched creatures for as long as I've been able to wield a knife against them. They feed on blood and grow strong in numbers. I have chased them into this nest and been caught in a trap. Their leader can raise the dead. And I fear for all who wander unknowingly into these crypts. If you have the skill, hunt them down. Do not let my death be for naught. For uh, somebody who is dying, you're, uh, you're heckin' talkative there, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, the first word's like, I'm dying, this is my last breath, and he talks for like five minutes. Maybe you should have used that energy to try to, you know, I don't know, hold your hold your intestines in or something. Uh, let's kill these bats. There we go, and which way do we go? I guess it doesn't really matter much. Ah, another chest. Ah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh no, Frost Man. Oh wow, there's three of them. Uh, okay. They gotta kill at least one or two of them quickly so that they don't do damage and we don't get frozen. Don't have enough energy. Yeah, so far Frost is by far the scariest element. I mean, there are some scary suffixes, like that thing on the ground that does those orbs that spin around and hurt you, the like, little laser orbs or whatever. Uh, but the uh, the way that you get frozen for like, I don't know, two or three seconds is pretty crazy. Stun always feels ugly. Man, if only you could assign something that uh, allows your... Uh, your vulnerable application from the forceful arrow to happen in two shots rather than three. That would be fantastic. Oh, oh, and it's uh, evil Lord boss thing. There we go. Death trap and death. It does work well. I am now just wondering whether it does work as well as our a shadow clone. You know what? Let's clear this dungeon and I'm gonna switch to shadow clone just to try it out. 
I mean, we did earlier, but we only tried it at this one point in it, and I thought it was considerably weaker than the poison trap. But that was at the time when it lacked the points to actually take full advantage of it. So that might have changed by now. One thing action RPGs have going for them is... It doesn't take as much concentration to play as like uh, as like a total war battle, so I feel a lot more comfortable talking the entire time. Rather than back in the early days of the channel when I would do the uh, when I would do the battles in Warhammer and talk at the same time, rather than do the cinematic battles, and the divided attention I think made it worse both for the commentary and for the. Uh, and for the action as well. Ah, damn those spike pits, those are hard to spot. I feel like I've fallen for every single spike pit so far. Also, there have been a distinct dearth of pants. We haven't gotten a single pants this episode. This game is supposed to be the quest for pants, so... That's how I judge how well a run is going, the amount of pants we get. At least on this character. The death trap. Ah, battle tech. I miss battle tech. Definitely one of my favorite games, even if uh, not as popular. But I, I guess a lot more people aren't familiar with the battle tech lore, so it isn't as. Uh, uh, it isn't as. Uh, well, popular. It's not as widespread nowadays as Warhammer lore is. Alright, what does this bloodstone pedestal interact? A crucial object is missing. Alright, let's go find that crucial object. And, oh. Yeah, there's a long way to shop. Man, this place turned out to be really low. We killed the boss, like, down here. This is, uh... This is taking much longer than expected. We better get some nice reward for this dungeon. Especially considering it's a side quest. Ah, while well, we got a level up. Ooh, 29. One more level and we got horse, people. Artillery shrine? Nah, another lethal shrine. Oh. Maybe we save this for when we enter, when we go through the gate then, just like last time seemed to work reasonably well. Alright, don't touch the shrine. Ah, there's another enemy and... Death trap. Oh, he teleported out of the death trap. Good job to him, though. It wouldn't be interesting if the bosses had no agency after all. Heck, what is that on the ground? And why can't I... There we go. Alright, hey, a ring. Alright, the rings are always quite useful. And there you go, let's pick up that bloodstone. Oh, that's why I couldn't see the... Uh, uh, I couldn't see it. Alright, back to point spending. Trap mastery. Hmm... Yeah, so Trap Mastery feels like it also works a lot better with the Poison Trap, because you're using it constantly. This is only for four seconds, after all. Yeah, it makes for a heck of a burst. Hmm. After using an ultimate skill, restore 25 energy. Oh, 25 energy restoration every time we use that. Not bad. Uh, I'm going to take a look at these passives, because frankly we haven't been uh, taking a good look at them all that much. Imbued skills increased critical chance. Yeah, lots of uh, increased crit stuff. Oh, right, and the stun duration increased. Not bad either. I feel like I saw a... a passive earlier that I wanted to put some stuff in. 6% increased damage and 3% increased damage to specific types of enemies. Rapid Gambit's Evade Cooldown, and Knocking Back or Knocking Down an Enemy, you gain increased critical chance once again. Good with the Poison Traps. Damage Reduction against Damage over time. Oh, right, Weapon Mastery, so just straight up increased critical strike damage. Hey, yeah, you know what, let's put some into that, I think. That seems decent. Critically Striking Enemy grants Movement Speed, probably good for Rogue, Close Damage Reduction, and that's it for the passives. Yeah, let's go for the Weapon Mastery. I should probably put all the points in it. I would assume. Generally speaking, things that are always active seem like the uh, way to go, as opposed to things that are only active some of the time, you know, like reliable damage, as opposed to, uh, well, either you're lucky or you don't get lucky. Uh, 
Uh, is there a trap cooldown? Uh, what do you mean? Oh, wait, actually, that reminds me. Wasn't there something that reset the cooldown of, of these traps? Wait, 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 wait. That actually is important. Wasn't there something here... Let's see. Exposure. Dealing direct damage to an enemy affected by trap skill has a 25% chance to reduce active cooldowns of your trap skills by 20%. There it is. Okay, so that is what you want to go if you build the uh, trap... Uh, uh, if you build the trap thing. As in if you go deep into traps. A victimize... Dealing direct damage to a vulnerable enemy has a 30% chance to cause an explosion. Dealing 23% of the original damage to them. So, huh. This doesn't say anything about an internal cooldown. Hmm. That might combine well with the uh, with the Shadow Clone. And what do we have here? Precision. Critical strikes with marksman skills grant you precision. Increase crit damage and... Yeah, so lots of critical stuff. Alrighty, well, we'll take a look at these more in the future. And we'll probably try them all out as we go as well. I'm still not married to any particular build, after all. Oh, look, we're carrying that bloodstone thing on our back now. Damn you and your teleporting. There we go. Alright, more boots and still no pants. What is this? A different game altogether. Alright, that's about it for this way, and we're nearly there. Still saving that shrine, though. Alright, a few fl frames being dropped there. Hopefully that wasn't my internet hiccuping, though. Always get nervous about that. And we're looking... Okay, I don't see... Oh, okay, I lied. Let's say I don't see anybody else, but there's clearly some... ghoul. Okay, now there's no more ghouls. Ah, Blood Magus, you stepped right into the death trap. You activated my death card. Uh, <laughs> Alright, and that's about it. Alright, let's head to the boss area. Activate the shrine and book it there. Alright, shrine, and go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if we can make use of it. Doesn't last very long. I need more time. Alright, you're vulnerable. Come on. Take all those. Oh, it does shadow damage by the whoa. Oh, oh no, that's not good. Uh That's concerning. Okay, wow. It was like a very long stun, and how do you dodge that? Okay, I'm not gonna step into those things anymore. That came actually the closest thing to killing us so far. Okay, this guy scares me. I really didn't like that. On the right side, with this range build, we don't have to stay near him, so... Hey, 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 no, 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 get away. <laughs> no touch. All right, we have trap available again in a few seconds. All right, let's destroy those flush things. I'd love to set the trap at his feet, but I want these things dead so we don't get our blood stolen. Just like last time. We need that blood. We need it for reasons. Alright, and go. Alright, there we go. There's the death trap and he's vulnerable and tech. No, 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 no. Did he try to do that thing again? I can't tell which circumstances the enemy actually does that. I'm just maintaining distance. There we go. I would have loved to see the death animation. Ooh, a new crossbow. Okay, uh, okay. And of course we run out of room just as we get the crossbow. Okay. Uh, reaching simple dagger. Well, I think we can leave you behind. There we go. That was a fun boss. Actually took some effort. Uh, little army tentacly things coming out of everywhere. And just double checking that there are no chests here and there don't appear to be any. All right. Well, we're going to go back to town briefly sell off and then proceed to the main quest where we were going earlier. Alrighty, let's see. Oh my, okay. So, boots. Uh, the... Oh, compare. 
Mm, no, we're gonna keep the evade charge. Two ranks of barrage. We're not using barrage. I do like the rapid fire, or yeah, the attack speed, but prefer the barrage. What else do we have here? Chop torturer. You chop and you torture. Uh, plus 15 dex. Lucky hit up to 1.4 chance to execute injured enemies. Hmm. Does anybody know, does the dexterity offered by the melee weapons, is it only active when you're using melee attacks, or is it always a, uh, or is it always an active thing? Because I have no idea. Uh, let's see, a Magus Breast. Uh, cold damage, damage reduction, meh. Nothing, nothing crazy. Cold Amendment? Oh, right, we get 6 life on kill from our current mask. Okay, I'm not giving up that, because we're getting 11 life on kill between that and the, uh, and the little skull. Damage reduction, intelligence, I mean, it doesn't seem like all that much better. So far, nothing all that great. This is worse than our current crossbow. And what do we have here? Cold resistance, it is more cold resistance. This thing does have two jewel slots. So we could put a couple gems in it, but I'm not entirely sure whether that's all that much better in the first place. Ah, plus one rank of dash and movement speed. At the cost of 2% energy cost and 16 dexterity. Hmm. Honestly, not sure. Life regeneration. Ah, I was hoping that was more life on kill, but no, we're not, uh, we're not giving up life on kill. Rank of rapid fire and dex. We're not using penetrating shots. You know what? I think these are slightly better. They're both rank of rapid fire, but we get dex rather than strength, which I assume we uh, want more. Skill damage and dodge chance versus resource regeneration and armor, yeah. Alright, let's do that. There we go, at least we got uh, one upgrade. Rank of caltrops, ugh. I really don't like those. And I'm not going to take those cold damage, we're not using a cold ability, and we got Shadow Step, which we're not currently using. Although, we might switch to Shadow, Shadow Step just to give it a try later on, as compared to All In on uh, Dash. Ooh, now we're up to 7% movement speed. Hmm. Attacks reduce evades cooldown as well. But I still like the max of aid charge. Two charges is really quite nice. All right, the rest of this I think can go. Uh, let's take you to Salvage Man, and salvage it. Father bless. What do you need? Oh, magic. There's not much of that. And can we just salvage it? All oh, right, we're saving a couple of these things up here. All right, we can salvage everything else though manually. Like so, and yeah, barrage. I keep thinking the barrage is rapid fire because they sound similar. And just to double check the journal, do we have any necessary quests? No, okay, we're good. We're good. Let's go back in here, and then we'll leave the dungeon, and then we'll head up back towards that uh, main location. As in main story location. If that made sense, and out we go. I think that was the most fun boss fight so far. Especially because it made me nervous that we got grabbed and blood drained again. Quick silver roar. Swell. Uh, do we need to go hand that quest in? We do. Hmm. Now we can do it later. Uh, let us. Oh, all right. Let's continue up this way. I guess. I guess we could go around this way because we haven't been here. Because what if there's a mommy shrine there? Okay, we're gonna bypass these guys though. Goodbye. And ooh, hello. Wait, have we been down here? Bloodstained Cellar. Ah, whoa, 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 okay. Death Trap. Right there. Alright, again, have we been down to this Bloodstained Cellar before or not? I can't not go down to the Bloodstained Cellar. These cellars are always very short, so... Uh, let's see if there's anybody here. Ah, I see enemies. That doesn't actually answer the question as to whether we've been here or not, mind you. Huh, these are some damage resistant ghouls, what the heck? Usually the ghouls die in like two hits. Alright. There we go, down you go. Hey, and we finally got pants, and that's why you go down to the cellar. 
And we got a little chest. Oh, was there a timer? Damn, I should have paid attention. If there was a timer, then perhaps we could have gotten more loot. I'm not sure. I don't see any other chests, so we're out of this cellar. And we can proceed. I was oh, yeah, okay, we hadn't gone down to the cellar. There was no check mark when we visited that. Well. Hey, damn it. Yes. I didn't mean to pick up that garbage tunic. I'm not going to bother with the regular common items at this point. I think we've got enough of them to get the ones that we want in terms of their appearance. Alright, gotta try to modify the appearance. Well, honestly, we'll do that later. Maybe closer to level 50, or at least a higher level. And, ha, huh, okay, so I take it this way, and the other way. And both go to the same place. Under the enemy's nameplate, it says if they have special attributes. Yeah, yeah, I, I've definitely seen that, but uh, <laughs> too busy to actually see or check out what they what they say when uh, trying to fire at them. Usually, I just I just see if they have a cold symbol, and if they do, I panic. All right, let's loop back around this way. This feels like this This is an area where there's a mommy shrine. I could be wrong. It just feels like it. Oh, it's a little, like, camp or something. Field of Judgment, level 31. Oh, it's actually two levels higher than we are. Malnok Stronghold nearby. Even for these parts. Search for the storm. Oh, huh. It said something about these strongholds earlier. I don't know. You missed the yellow saber. Oh, I did. My bad. Uh... Go back to that in a second. A chest plate and where you killed the goat men. All the way back here somewhere. Uh, okay, well, I can't see it now, so, well, <laughs> at least it wasn't a crossbow. Now, this also reminds me, I don't remember if this was in Torchlight or in Grim Dawn, but there was a thing that if you missed objects, they would get, they would come back to you through, like, the mailbox or something. I think there was a limit in terms of the degree that you could do that. But I definitely remember that being a thing. Alright, what does this stronghold do? Does it activate quests or something if we clear it? Frozen guard. Ow, oh, why would we want to do that? They just made a bunch of skeletons, why not leave them there? Hmm, now well, I definitely don't see a mommy shrine in here, but I guess we're going into the center to see what's here. Uh, let's do this. And... The energies are flying into this creature. Hmm, there's a boss there. Of some kind. Lay the Ice Clan Stormcrawlers. Okay, so I guess we have to kill these guys to free the big boy, and then we fight the big boy. A little bit concerned about the level disparity, but we shall see. Oh! It shows us the uh, skull symbols where they are. Okay, good. I was worried we'd have to go and actually look for them. Okay, not this. Not. Okay, there we go. Alright, screw you, Frozen Garage. I'm not freeing you. Well, I guess. Not freeing your skeletons. It's sort of similar. Except that one, because of splash damage. I'm gonna save the big trap combo for the enemy boss here. Uh, where's the storm caller? Is that you? No, nope, it's you. And you. Oh, I used the combo on him for nothing. Wait, wait, wait. We're frozen, and the enemy's frozen. And the enemy freeze. 
Need more ah, time. I thought I dodged that, but apparently not. And oh no, we're stuck. Stay invisible, run away. Uh, I gotta appreciate the runaway button or the panic button. There we go, down you go. And that's why I'm nervous about those uh, cold effects. Uh, vulnerable, vulnerable. There we go. And a couple more hits. All right, down goes one. Two more to go. Oh, actually took some effort. Ah, there's a chest. I was <laughs> standing right beside the chest and didn't even see it. Of course. Of course. All right, and I think that there isn't much else here. Can we destroy this? Well, we can. I don't know why we would want to. I wonder if those things damage enemies or only us. Making it of no purpose to actually attack those. All right. Whoa, what is this? Kazra Ritual Preparations. What is this? A typical display of the Kazra's cruelty. Kazrak Wanai's cruelty? These villagers were used as part of the ritual which destroyed their homes. Kazra, Kazrak. Huh. I take it that Kazra or Kaz something has something to do with goats in some language. It's, it's awfully coincidental that the goatmen here are called Kaz something and the in Kazrak one eye. Awfully coincidental. Now I have to look it up if I remember to. Uh, down you go, and let's head into this place. We always knew something was under the ice. But we thought we could fend off whatever was in the tunnels. Yesterday, I found my daughter Kala crying. She told me she saw monsters in the caves and begged for us to leave. I told her nothing would drive us from our home. I left afterwards to hunt. When I returned, I had to push through raging winds and heavy snow beneath the village. I found the guards first. They were encased in ice. The monsters my daughter warned me about had overrun the town. I snuck past them to find Kala. But it's too late. My daughter is frozen like the others. There isn't a soul left alive here. Why didn't I listen to her? Well, that's depressing. Alrighty, well. <laughs> uh, back to killing things. It needs time to that's a cure for depression, right? Alright, down you go, and more of these Ice Clan and Paylors. Oh, right, there's gonna be another protecty dude around the, uh, around the Ice Collar or Storm Collar, whatever it was. A little bit concerned about this boss. Hopefully this isn't like a world event sort of boss where we need multiple people, because then we won't be able to handle it. Alright, there's the protecty one. And he's frozen. Alright, and ability and trap and there we go. Oh, the second works on elites as well, that's good. All right, I wanted to try to switch to the uh, to the copy to the shadow clone. All right, after we kill the storm call, I'm gonna try to switch it just out of curiosity to see the effectiveness of all the buffs up. Bone charm. I take it that's not an actual charm. Yeah, it's an amulet. Remember in D2, there were these, like, charm things that you kept in the in the inventory that would give you buffs, although considering that took all your inventory space, it was quite irritating. Hey, 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 where did you guys come from? Why didn't you help your storm caller? That was, would have been the time to drop down from the sky, apparently. Oh, they didn't drop off that roof, they dropped off right here, there's nothing up there. Uh, okay, well, let's get out of here. Oh, damn it, I didn't mean to use that potion. Traverse. Whee! 
All right, and the other side. Oh, right, before we get to the other storm caller. What was that ice caller? Uh, let's try Shadow Clone. Out. 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 And then in. Supreme Shadow Clone deals 20% more damage. <laughs> uh, they did do a DFA. I, I appreciate all the Battletech references. Oh, damn you, freezy thing. Alright, where's the other guy? All the way over there, okay. We'll work our way to you, then. And right, screw you, Frozen Guards. I'm not bothering with you. Oh, what if they activate when you activate the boss? Probably don't want additional ads. Oh, well, let's not risk that. It might not be the case, but why risk it? I'm certainly aware of boss fights where that is a thing. Not necessarily in this game, but it, in, just in another game. Right, down you go, down you go, and... Right, we gotta get through the stronghold. I really would like to do at least a couple of the story quests during this stream. At least a couple per day per stream. I also feel like it's going too slow. I wonder what the uh, time rate is on taking out the entire... Uh, what's the little mini-boss thing? I wanted to save the storm, uh, the uh, Shadow Clone for that. But the time thing is to go through the entire story. I mean, how long does the game expects you to take through, to go through it? The first time. Obviously, the real, the real difficulty is, well, tired difficulty. Oh, maybe I should have saved those for freezing the enemies. That's what's been freezing the enemies, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give that a try. Down you go. And your turn, buddy. Where's your guard man? Alright, so... Like so, like so. Let's see how well you do. Hmm, the Shadow Clone doesn't appear to be firing at the same thing we're firing. Okay, that seems to make it at least a little bit weaker. Honestly, it doesn't seem to do that much damage. Even at 60%. But we'll keep trying it for this a little bit. Well, one that cooldown is back up, that is. Ah, there's the stun. Ah, the stun does work on elites. Okay, that means we need to put more points in the stun thing. Because that is very useful. Hey, and that's it. Return to the center of Malnok. Okay, I am nervous about this. Broke your arm. Oh wow, damn dude. You gotta you gotta lie down, that's definitely for sure. Thanks for stopping by, especially if you're in horrible pain and probably semi-delirious from the uh, uh from the meds. Yep, where uh okay wait, there's a million enemies. Game said return to center. While doing that, all the enemies decided to stop us. There we go. And, huh, we can do Alright, chest must have been... where I was walking before and missed it. Uh... Okay, well, I guess I missed it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I gotta pay attention to stuff on the ground more. Doesn't look to be around. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Unless this is a different one. Well, it's the one we got. Alrighty, let's go to the boss. Return to center of Malnog. Let's see if this guy's scary. I assume he is. Hello. Hi. Slay the remaining Ice Clan. Working on it. Ah, there he is. Ow, okay, you've got range on that stuff. Ooh, and we're stuck here, eh? All right. Uh, let's do Shadow Clone. Oh, at least the Shadow Clone only has one target. What's he doing? What's he oh, no, 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 Ice Things. I don't want to get frozen. 
Ah, that's... Ooh, so the Shadow Clone only fires when you fire, so the problem with that is if you're not firing, if you're dodging stuff, then it's not very useful. Oh, no. Frozen bombs everywhere. Right, so far this guy hasn't been too bad. So, who knows, maybe he has a second, uh, a second form. Maybe this isn't even his final form. Oh, damn, I didn't mean to go forward, my bad. Do that, and... Gotta make you vulnerable. Time. Ooh, almost got frozen there. A few more hits. Sorry about being quiet, but during boss fights, gotta concentrate just a little bit. There we go. And ah, he's got pants. Beautiful. Wow, you got four yellow things. And what does this do? Rekindle the Wanderer's Shrine to conquer Malnog. Alright. Uh, please tell me that this gives us a waypoint here. Hey, that gave us level 30, that's what it did. Beautiful. Malak conquered. I... Ah, uh, ah, uh, I see a bunch of people. Ooh, wait. Oh, we can also claim this. Plus one skill point. Bonus XP, yes please. And... I don't see a waypoint. I do, however, see a new dungeon nearby. Two new dungeons nearby. Of course it's Necromancer and Druid. Wow, is it me, or have we seen, like, a dozen dungeons and only one rogue dungeon? It's, it's ridiculous. What the heck? I don't like the rogues. Um, seriously, though, how is there no waypoint here? We're very far from all the other waypoints. It feels like, well, we're going to return to these dungeons. We're definitely going to go through them, but I want to grab the... Uh, ooh, class specialization. Well, uh, I want to grab the main quest. Rewards available. No, I already did that. Okay, specialization. We got the third one now. Conquer one stronghold. Thanks. Uh, preparation. Every 100 energy you spend reduces your ultimate skills cooldown by 4 per s for seconds. Using an ultimate skill resets the cooldowns of your other skills. Well, that's interesting. Every 100 energy you use. This actually might work fairly well with our current build, because the rapid fire build that we currently use is done so that it regenerates... Uh, so that it regenerates energy loss based on attacking enemies that are vulnerable, which makes it self-sustaining, but it also, I assume, means that we spend a lot of energy. You know what, let's give preparation a try. We might switch back to combo points later, depending on uh, how that goes. We do have two points available, not quite yet to the, uh, to this thing. What I want to do... Trap Mastery. Uh, let's take out Trap Mastery for a second. I want to get another point in the stun thing, which seems very useful. And then let's put two points in Weapon Mastery just for the straight-up damage for now. Alright, there we go. Hopefully preparation works out well. Now, we are level 30, which means hopefully we can get horse. I don't... Wait, did it give us a horse quest? Okay, it's odd that it didn't give us a horse quest. But I'm hoping that we don't actually need to do a specific one. Yeah, sorry if I missed that chest, but I, I, I couldn't find it. Uh, all right, let's go to the stables and see about all this. Man, see, people are already at level 54, but I'm sure people have been playing at, like, 12 hours a day. Hey, it's tempting, believe me. But I also like my variety. I can't just play one game at a time. Uh, limited access, progress the campaign, and complete mountain. Ah, damn. We can't actually get it yet. Well, that's not nice. All right, fine. Progress the main campaign. Okay, that's what we're doing then. And I think you can upgrade your potions to... Uh, yes, maybe we can. I will check that out. This is this? Yes, this is this. Thanks for that. This is the second or third time I've forgotten to upgrade potions myself. I think every single time that there was an option, I've forgotten it. Crushed beast bones we lack. What is this, and how do we I get it? Make this right hey. Now. I want to see how we get crushed beast bones, damn it. Hmm. And we have three out of five. We can't make it, can we? Elixir. Oh, this is the stuff we could use for prep before fighting bosses. Crafting materials. Superior leather. I don't see any crushed beast bones or anything of that nature here. Well, that's a shame. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm just going to double check that the blacksmith can't crush some beast bones for us. That's probably not a possibility. No. Alright, I have no idea how to get that. We'll figure it out later.
Or maybe we'll just get them by killing stuff. Oh, this, good, this arrow here is gonna bother me now. Uh, let us double check the items that we got before we go to the next area, though. Uh, plus 8% imbuement skill damage and two sockets. Okay, this armor just straight up does seem better, to be fair. Man, it kind of works in terms of our, you know, dress up. Uh, just gonna put some gems in there afterwards. What do we have in terms of bow? 40 dexterity. Oh, it's actually worse than our bow, nonetheless. Well, crossbow. I still prefer crossbows. We got a very, very slightly better dagger, but I don't think we care. Although. Hmm. It does have a socket. Eh, then again. Now, let's see. Thorns, we don't care about, and we don't get the subterfuge skill levels. Intrigue Blast. Okay, this is for cold damage, which we don't have. Max of Aid Charge, Shadow Resistance Dam. I thought it was plus 20% poison, or shadow damage, rather. That would have been fantastic, but it's not the case. Uh, we got 24 decks and 10 all stats, and damage to stunned enemies. All right, you know what? Let's take you, and we'll socket you with... I don't know. Doesn't... Damage over time, we don't really use damage over time that much right now, so let's do that. Uh, we got the new pants. Two ranks and concealment. That's better than what we currently use. Other than... While injured, your potion grants movements. But yeah, you know what, I'll take that. And then let's see what we have here. Severe Lash. Lots more armor, but we're not losing six life on kill. Oh, even for the cooldown reduction. We gotta get another mask with life on kill. And a ring. Plus 4% shadow damage. 46 maximum life. It's actually less shadow damage than the one we have, but it does have a socket. I have to wonder... What sockets do in jewelry? Oh, it's more resistances. Eh, probably not a big enough deal for us to care about right now. Uh, we'll swap it out to something better anyway. Anyway, let's... Uh, delete the common. Or magic... Items. I keep thinking common or magic. And let's do this. Oh, every time. This, 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 this. And you know what? I think we're probably not going to... Oh, wait. I've been saving these in case we switch to Shadow Step. Which we might still do at some point. Rank to all imbuement skills. I doubt that we're going to be using more than one imbuement skill at the current time. And this is the increase to Shadow Damage, but... I think ours is better, because we don't need you. All right. Again, the items probably don't matter all that much. Anyway, let's get a little bit of maximum life here, and let's get uh, damage over time reduction. Why not? A little bit of damage over time reduction. All righty, everything's nice and jeweled, and what's this? According to the web, crushed beast bones can be found in and around Howling Den, south of Yelezna. I don't... Howling Den... I think that's one of these places. Okay, we haven't, we probably haven't discovered it yet because there's really nothing south of Yelezna right now. We'll probably get there eventually, but right now I want to head to the main quest. Uh, and since there's no waypoint, I guess we gotta go back to our town portal and keep running there. Alright, hey my rules, uh, we conquered our first stronghold, which is apparently just a place where you clear out a mini boss, or actually a boss boss, in the world zone, and then unlock an area, which is this area. Oh, which had its own blacksmith, go figure. But other than that, we're trying to head towards the main quest, which is far away. And I'm hoping we run into a waypoint at some point, because at this point, I keep saying point, and now it's also a meaning, you know? Uh, at this point, it's... Way too much running, especially without access to horse, which is why we need to complete this quest so that we actually get to access the horse. I was hoping that you just straight up get it at level 30, but apparently not. Ooh, I like this place. I like, uh, I like the, uh, like the footsteps in the snow. We <laughs> All right, let's do jump and jump and yeah, well, attack, shoot, shoot to not stab. Close enough. Hey, another crude skull, yes. Man, the thing that bothers me about crude skull being wiped like the, uh, like the common items is that it feels like it's really easy to miss. And those are pretty important, considering they give life on kill. Oh, I thought that was a statue of a bear, what the heck? I don't know why that would be a statue, well, I guess like a frozen thing, like not a statue statue, not a rock statue, or stone statue. Skull pile. Damn, I was hoping that would have a crude skull. 
All right, keep going to main quest, loose stone, and the heck is that? Oh, the, the little self blowy up he did, yeah. Yeah, I don't like how the Shadow Clone shoots essentially parallel to you. It doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't shoot at your target, it shoots parallel, which is a very weird decision. I mean, I guess it works for bosses, but half the time it isn't shooting where you want it to be shooting. Mm. Also, the combination of concealment that we have works better with traps than the Shadow Clone at the current time. I think I might switch back to the, uh, to the trap. Ah, damn. Nope. Ah, there's a little, there's a little dungeon or a little, uh, cellar. We're gonna go down there and then we'll go back to the main quest afterwards. We're getting closer to it, though. There's still no waypoint in sight. Alright, seller first, just in case I miss it, like I missed that one that we had at the uh, start of the stream. Alright, what are we looking at here? Uh, probably a bunch of little bosses. Alright, at least one more try with the Shadow Clown. And ooh, what do we get here? Oh no, I didn't expect that thing to get destroyed immediately. Alright, Shadow Clone, it's turn. You know what? I wish there was like a like a damage tracker. It would, it would make it a lot easier to figure out what's doing more damage and what isn't. In terms of utility, the death trap is obviously better. Okay, yeah, that guy was really hard to attack. And it's not just utility after all. Oh no. Uh, okay, concerned. Do we have to destroy this thing? Survive the enemy onslaught? Oh, destroy- oh, for the mastery we have to destroy this thing. Okay, okay, well, ah, uh, yeah, see? Here is another place where I would have probably preferred to have the death trap. I like the name. Damn. Okay, yeah, we're probably not gonna get mastery of this place. We can't even attack the, uh... We can't even attack the thing until these guys are dead. And we are running out of energy to kill them all. Might even be better to just spam potions rather than bothering to... Oh, we just have to survive. Huh. Okay, wait, I might have missed how exactly you do that, because that thing wasn't attackable and the spawns were spawning endlessly. Maybe there were some specific things we had to attack? I'm gonna give that a quick read next time. Which probably means we have to come back here and do it again. Not right now, obviously, but when it, uh, when it respawns. Yeah, so we got a regular Radiant Chest rather than the... Uh, uh, rather than the... Greater Radiance Chest? Resplendent Radiant Chest? I, I don't remember the name. Alright, back to main quest yet again. Trying to look at the map, you damn ghouls. There we go. Uh, Alright, yeah, this way. Alright, I guess we want to go through this place. Uh, maybe a mommy shrine. It feels like we haven't had a mommy shrine in absolute ages. What is here? Waypoint? Waypoint? Nah, just some stupid sun altar thing. Oh, is this another stronghold? What is this? Event is nearby. Okay, it's just an event. Hmm... Armor rack. Garbage. It says the vent is nearby, but I don't see a vent. Maybe somebody already did it. Nothing's yes. happening. This place is weirdly empty. Okay, I guess, uh... I guess we can come back to this place at some point when we figure out what the actual event is. Let's continue to the main quest. I guess we're going up this way, maybe because it's closer to where we were going before. And you know what, let's bypass some enemies. Pick up the, uh, pick up the random items, though. And run. 
And... run. And before we talk to Mother Brava, we're, I'm going to once again... Hey, you know what? Let's kill these guys just for the XP, if nothing else. Damn, this cool so bad. I think we're going to switch back to Death Trap for a little bit. I feel like I like it more than I do the Shadow Clone. Alrighty, nearly there. Ah, and there's another dungeon there. Ah, another one of these things. Faded plaque. Bid farewell to all you love. Okay. I do that every day. Bye. Farewell. There we go. Your movement speed is temporarily increased. Okay, that'll get us there a little bit faster. Close, close. State your business. Hi. Reverend Mother Prava expects me. Open the gates. <laughs> That's it. No proof required. State your business. I I, I want to go inside. Okay. Dude, talk. Uh, huh. I thought this guy was clickable, and we went up to him, and then nothing happened. Odd. Oh, he's coming with us. Okay, sure. Uh, okay, I'm going the wrong way because of course I am and we can't use dash in the middle of town, quote-unquote, because it's not so much a town right now. And so there doesn't appear to be any vendors or anything. Finally. Oh, please tell me. He's expecting us. Ascend. Here we go. Good luck. Have the new watch commander replace the forces we lost at the mine. So... You've returned. Vigo here tells me you were braver than he. So, you've returned. Why are you on fire? First, you will be made worthy of a blessing. A holy war cannot be won with faithless troops. Make no mistake, this war is holy. Lilith has brought the eternal conflict to Sanctuary. And Inarius will deliver us, as writ in prophecy. Until then, we have our parts to play. Make a pilgrimage to the Alabaster Monastery. Cleanse your spirit. Then we may discuss a blessing. Lilith has brought the Eternal War to Sanctuary? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure the Eternal War was here all along. The real Eternal War was the friends we made along the way, and yeah, I, I recognize this guy. The guy that just randomly bailed. Uh, and... Oh, okay, fortunately this thing isn't far. I was worried that we'd have to run for eight years again, because we don't have a horse and there's no nearby waypoints. Alright, well, at least we should be able to get there quickly. Press up to dead. What is pressing up doing this? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, the way the NPCs don't interact with certain effects is often uh, is often kind of interesting. Especially if you're playing as, as also not just like a regular dude, but like the necromancer with like, I don't know, bleeding tattoos all over and just like, Kai, you wanna deliver us from evil, maybe? Maybe don't just assume that uh, everybody's here to help instead of, you know, the demons that have been tricking you with that eternal conflict all along. Alright, Vigo. There's a shrine west of here. Bears a relic. I'm told it takes on your sin. Weighs you down, body and soul. Beats the hell out of you. It'll cleanse you. Prepare you to stand before the Father. I hope you don't have many regrets, friend. This kind of thing is a lot deadlier for some than others. Watch out, alright? I'll find you at the end. All right, will this thing also give us a horse? Uh, what else? Okay, I'm not even going to care. Uh, let's get... Oh, it's all the way down here for the love of more running. I assumed that it would be in here, but apparently not the case. Read from the tablet at the altar of purity. I'm almost sure that Inarius is not a good guy. Is there anyone except Tyrael in this game? Or is, is that is of the angels and demons people who is a good guy? Like a genuine good guy?
Because wasn't, wasn't one of the uh, main angel people in the third game, which I didn't play, also kind of a dick? Ah. I was hoping you could go up the way that you can slide down, but apparently not. I just added that to tease you. And not in a good way. Alrighty, uh, ah, oh, we just have to read it? I assumed we'd have to kill things. To the sinner. Hark, creature of darkness, for you have wandered beyond the reach of the light. Lift your sins, breathe deep the cold air. The path to redemption lies before you, if you have the faith to walk it. Uh, okay. Okay, this is where we're going. Everything looks evil. I take it these rock wielders weren't there before. Maybe they were, who knows. Heck, I thought you died. Oh, that was a thing that you spawned, okay. Oh wow, that thing can shoot far. What the heck, it's traveling across like three screens, damn. You know, I kind of like this view where you can't see stuff. So it really makes it more menacing. Kind of reminds me of Diablo 1. I, I remember the, just feeling the atmosphere in Diablo 1 the first time. It was very memorable. Reliquary. And so we can still gather iron and whatever in the uh, uh, in evil mode or whatever this is, purifying mode, cleansing mode. Oh, I forgot to switch back to. Can we attack you? Yes, we can. Available, please. Thank you. All right. Well, that guy didn't have a lot of HP, so he down quickly and altar martyred him. Watch this thing explode just as we... To the suffer. Oh, I take it we got... Oh, we gotta, like, a travel along the pilgrimage and do this several times. I think. Feel the sting of your wounds. Let the ice into your bones. Welcome your pain. For the agony of the flesh is the first cleansing of the soul. Make your faith stronger than any hurt. Okie dokie. Bring the Idol of the Faithful. Okay, so we take it again and continue the pilgrimage. Altar of Redemption. Yeah, I sincerely doubt Vigo could, uh, could do this. Gambling Horror. I look for Undead Goatmen now. I actually kind of like that. Not just, like, regular human skeletons and then random goatmen, but we also have goat skeletons. This is what they need in Warhammer. A vampire counts and need undead of various types. I'm not going back for 47 gold. Explodes. Ah, damn, I got- oh, those circles on the ground give you fear. Okay, I don't like that. Right, but our, currently our clone makes us immune to that for five seconds, as I recall. Look around at the mountains towering over you. Feel how small you are. Embrace humility. Accept your place in worship to the Father. For he has shown us the way. Sure, why not? It needs time to recharge. <laughs> Would have been funny if you said it was. Uh, it needs time to recharge, just as the uh, uh, just as the voice was talking about redemption. And stuff. Huh. Now we have Goatmen without flesh. So we had regular goat. No, wait, no, we had first rotting Goatmen. Then we had skeleton Goatmen. Now we have 
Goatman, or Flayed Goatman. Ha, huh, this is kind of like a Trials of Chaos. Are we Archaeon? Were we Archaeon all along? Are you just facing off the Trials of the Four Chaos Gods? Because we've done Nurgle and Korn. I don't know who the skeletons might be. Maybe, maybe probably Zinch. Or maybe some very cruel Slaneshi punishment, where it, where it uh, prevents you from feeling anything because you're now a skeleton. Alrighty, looking good, and we're nearly there. I assume we're almost at the final step of this pilgrimage. Is this the idol's curse manifests in the sap strength and dulls the senses. Would be nice if it specifically said what it does. Well, dulls the senses we can tell. I don't know about sap strength. Are we actually weaker than normal? Maybe we hit less hard? Hard to say. Another big flay guiltman. Ooh, look at that. It's not attacking peril, it's actually attacking the same target that we are. And that just left. There we go. Alright, not bad. Not bad. The uh, Shadow Clone is growing on me, I will admit. Pilgrim, look into yourself. Find your faith. Feel what fills the void within you. Remember. You are nothing without faith. Hold fast to the light. And remember. I remember what? I remember what? Did, did, it, did anybody hear what it said? I just I just heard hold fast to the light and remember. Oh, it, did it just end with remember? I pressed dash as ex exactly as it was being said. Alright, anyway, rejoice in your faith. The Father has prophesied to redeem us all. A spear of light piercing hatred's heart. When he ascends to the heavens, he shall lift us with him to the light above. Yeah, this guy seems very sus. So, I like playing cards. Doesn't make me a sinner. But that bribe. Good soldiers died on account of what I did. Is that the kind of man I am? The kind I'll always be. I just... Damn it. I'm praying. Why isn't this working? Oh, you made it. That makes one of us, at least. You heard from Prava? I will. Soon. But enough about that. You're about to meet Father Inarius himself. Not everyone comes back, you know. You'd better. I, I owe you a stiff drink. Meet Father Anarius, you say? Oh, that's neat. Uh, let's see what they gotta say. So it would've been funny if when this guy's like, ah, you're one of us, and the main character was like, well, not quite one of you, we don't like gambling, or something along those lines, to so rub it in. Alright, anything out here? I imagine not, but I wanna look around. Ah, this isn't a waypoint, is it? Is it? Why is this game so light on waypoints? I start look at the, look at all this territory with no waypoints whatsoever. I see why they made horses a necessity, and because running all this way. Hmm. Oh, there's a chest out here. It was worth it to go around, and it has yellow pants as well. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna have to check out this way just in case, and oh, I bet we have to go down there for reasons afterwards. Probably not right now, though. I do feel like making you run around for a long time does some what speak of poor you. game design. And remember, you are small, wonderfully small. Okay, you don't need to rub it in. We know everyone's bigger than us here. Damn it. Alrighty, well, let's find whoever we're finding here. Inarius, uh, the creator. Our father Inarius laid down this ground, opened up the sky, and created the sanctuary from the bounty of the world stone. Wait, so, are they saying... Huh. I mean, sort of, right? They both made it. Or a Lilith used Denarius to make, but anyway. Uh, cast down from the heavens would prophesize to return. Prophesied to return, rather. Our father Denarius will ascend to the heavens, and on his wings we will be remembered. 
Yeah, will we? And let's see what we're looking at here. Ah. Okay, yeah, there's probably no chests over there. Portal. Cutscene. Traverse the Black Lake, and that cannot be done without your blessing. If I've learned anything during my time here, it is that what we're looking for, and what we need, are rarely the same thing. I once thought I could find an end to this war, but there has been no resolution, only more pain. Everything I've done has pulled me further from home, from the place I need to be. This world we made was born from the impossible, and yet, like its creators, it rots from the inside. I... I don't... Lilith has entered the ancient city. With your blessing, I can pursue her. And this world has been wasted on the crusades of the unworthy. I can stop her. Hmm. This audience is concluded. So Inarius pretty clearly said that this world's rot this world rots from the inside just like its creators, so I take it foreshadowing of him being a, a dick in the future, just like the uh the other angel in the third game. Oh, very quiet in this area. Oh, let's see what they have to say. So did he actually give us the blessing or no? And I'm clear. Ah, no, that's some other guy. And let's see what Mother Parava has to say. And, oh, t you gotta be kidding. <laughs> All the way over there again, with no waypoint, of course. Away we go. Hmm. Why is this place still yellow? Alabaster Monastery. Lights protection, quest 5 out of 5. Ooh, we're nearly done Act 1. Lovely. Oh, man, that's a long way to travel. Why is there never a... Hmm. Look. What's this? Alright, that's pretty cool, but... Uh, doesn't really do anything, but yeah, it's still pretty nice. And, oh, there's chest down here. Looks like I missed that one. Oh, that was, that was when we were running around in the dark due to that uh, pilgrimage of whateverness. Man, is that me or did the music in the game just really quiet down after that? Now it seems very quiet. Hmm. I don't know if this game has an auto run function, like you automatically run forward. I suppose you wouldn't need it as much if there was a horse, but uh, yeah, since we're at 5 out of 5 on this quest and nearly completed Act 1, perhaps when we do that, we will get that horse. What is this silent chest? Alright, oh, that's the thing that needs whispering keys. And as I, uh, uh, as I understand it, that's what these O-Balls curiosity vendors were for. You buy the whispering keys to open those special chests in the... Uh, uh, in the world zone, or the overworld, or whatever. Oh, wow! Two crude emeralds! Oh, okay, definitely can't be missing those ore places. I didn't realize that they gave us gems, but it does make sense that they do. Yes. 
That's a loose stone. Okay, not a regular gem place. Alright. And away we go once more. And, huh. Bunch of ghouls. Were there a bunch of ghouls in like a big old stone pile? That's interesting. Oh, speaking of big old stone pile, another ore vein. More iron chunks. And we did that statue earlier, I believe, so we can ignore it for now. I wonder, do you are you able to use those statues more than once? Can you just time. repeatedly do them to get the uh, little buffs? Or are they like shrines where they where they're expended and then you don't need to do them again? Oh, there's another quest here. Okay, we'll pick that up in a second. But let's talk to Reverend Mother Prava first. I want to see where this main quest is going. Blessed are those who bask in the light. Let our faith be our armor against the encroaching darkness. Ah, you've returned. Come, let us speak inside. Out of the cold. If you're cold, maybe you should, you know, have some sleeves. And shoes? Is she wearing shoes? Maybe she's wearing shoes either. Yet you stand before me unscathed. I know his ways. That is approval enough for me. In the name of the light, I bless you. May the light flow through you and keep you from corruption and sin. Our victory is prophesied in the heavens. Crossing over. Speak with Narelle in the path of the first friend. Oh, wow. Back to Narelle. Okay, I guess she's more important to the uh, story than I figured. Well, I guess she was waiting for us to figure out a way to cross the thing. Alright, once again, taking all bets. she gonna die or she gonna live? Mm, so let's pick up this quest while we're at it. Out there is the ministry. An outsider. I could use your help. A dying knight mistook me for his confessor. He spoke of sacrilegious things. He said his party of knights found a secret to life eternal. A red chalice. Said the bishop leading them ordered them to drink of it deep. He confessed they shelter now in a place he called the Sanguine Chapel. The chalice must be retrieved and I must leave. Find me at the Bear Tribe camp when you have it. Air Tribe Camp, okay. Uh, we're not gonna do that right now, we can do it later. Let's finish up this mainline quest. So, crossing over. Where are we? Wow. Oh, more running, go figure. This is the way we're going. Oh, okay, I guess we're going to Yelezna. Did Wirt's leg make it into the third game? Does anybody know? Uh, let's see. Crossing. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's no side quests here. No, it was in this place. Ah, whatever. And we'll get back to that and hand it in afterwards. I'm more interested in getting horse. We're nearly level 31. Okay, ghouls, not the time. I wonder, does moving through water actually slow you down or not? And that, what kind of shrine do we have? Protection shrine. Ah, I'm probably not gonna bother with it. Alright, how far are we? Actually, not so bad. Oh, sorry, dear. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, not on purpose. Guard, deal with the ghouls, please. Thank you. Well, not thank you because you didn't deal with them, but they ran away from you. Ah, there's a rock right in the middle of town. Okay, somebody's not doing their job. Clear that. Alright, skeletons, you know what, I'm gonna ignore you. I'm not gonna ignore the rock ever since we saw the acquisition of gems. Every single one will be gotten. And there we go, finally. We've made it back to Norel. I'll explain on the way. Okay. He's not explaining on the way. <laughs> Why are you lying? <laughs> uh... 
Smoke this. And there we go. And we. Oh wow, you can jump far. Yeah, see, this would have been easier to clear with the death trap. Oh, I suppose the shadow clone is helping as well. Still on the fence as to which one I like more. Uh, once again, though, if we lean into shadow damage, I guess... Oh, actually, huh. If we imbue, does our shadow clone get imbued? I hadn't thought about it. Or rather, the attacks that it copies, do those get imbued? As in, if we're using a shadow imbued rapid fire, does the shadow clone use a shadow imbued rapid fire? And I assume the shadow clone does physical damage. Oh, damn, it's this way. All the way down here. Seriously, Narelle, you said you'd explain on the way. <laughs> there we go. Was difficult to understand. And the notes weren't much better. I think I know how to talk with my mother again. Is she saying she's gonna necromancy her mother? Raise her again? Is that is that what's being said here? Tomb of the first necromancer and all. The breeze coming from the black lake. Do you feel it? Yes, yes, it's nice and breezy here. <laughs> Probably not what she actually meant. Hey, mom, we killed you. Mm, our, our bad. Mother, mother, please, can you hear me? My little magpie, it's you. I can save you from this, mother. I promise. I can learn how to. Nere, stop. I can't be saved from my own mistakes. This body is only a husk. My spirit must pass on. And you must let me go. Mother, no. I need you. You need to move on, Magpie, without me. But I can help you one last time before I go. You have the divine blessing. Your blood is the necessary key. Right, maybe just don't give people your blood, man, or, you know, eat strange food. Honestly, I don't think that we spent long enough with Norell to actually have this be a particularly emotional moment. Not a thorough enough characterization for these characters for us to actually have any uh, uh, attachments to them. So, meh, she dead, don't really care. The way is open. We have to go. But... Do you think Lilith is even still here? It's been so long, I'm afraid she's won this one. Besides, I have to take care of my mother, but it's not over yet. Not for you. Lilith was after Rothma. Find him. Learn why. I'll be back at the vault. All right. We come back and she raised her mother as a skeleton. Uh, Necropolis of the Firstborn. Oh, I like the name, though. I'm on the right trail. She was here. Hmm. Is this... Okay, I see some shadowy things. I take it that's supposed to be Rothma there. Alright, let's find Sunnyboy. Ooh, oh, oh my. All right, creepy evil stuff everywhere. It's been Lilithified, or was it originally like this? Or did the Necromancer do this? 
I think necromancers aren't inherently evil because we currently use them necromancers. You are the last visitor to my sanctum. Though you come too late, just as Lilith did before you. For it was my father, Inarius, who arrived here first. It unfolded as my visions foretold. My bad. How we hurtle towards the prophecy's end. Okay, that's all you gotta say. Not crazy useful. Why do ghosts always gotta be cryptic, man? He's a necromancer. We can probably bypass the cryptic nature of ghosts or something. Otherwise, what's the point of being an necromancer? Schools, schools, leave alone, please. Trying to kill the maggots here. There we go. Hey, we got a level, but the wand rather than anything useful. From it. Damn, the extra HP gives him a lot of HP. Alrighty, another point. Uh, well, if we're going into a boss fight, we definitely want to spend it. Ah, oh, so close to those ultimate skills of ours, but not quite yet. Uh, let us see what we were doing. And there's the vulnerable critical chance. Lucky hit, up to 10% chance to gain 8 energy. Non-physical damage you deal has a 5% lucky hit chance. Alright, so you probably want to lean into all of that if you're, well, leaning into it. Doing 50 man. We maxed out the weapon damage, yeah? Yeah, we did. Alright, there was another one that looked decent before. Just straight up increased damage to both healthy and injured enemies, but then not super useful when they're at middling HP, huh? Maybe we want to get some damage reduction effects at this point. Your evade cooldown is reduced. Damn, I forgot which one I was going to try. Close damage reduction, heal for life when you critically strike close enemies. Probably a lot better for a stabby rogue than it is for a shooty rogue. Critically strike an enemy grants 5 movement speed. I'd rather increase the chances of critical strike. Well, I guess it depends on if we're using the trap or not as to whether we're uh, going to continue doing that. You know, let's put some points into this thing into exploit for now, I think. I guess we could do the imbued chances. We do a lot of extra damage from that. Ah, let's go for that. Oh, you know what, actually? Uh, let's get another point into shadow imbuement since we're relying on it to do damage. Maybe it's time to spend some points into forceful arrow. In fact, uh, if we keep weapon mastery, what was the other passive that we put points in? Or did we even put a point into a passive other than weapon mastery? Okay, I keep looking at this in the smaller view and it's irritating. Hmm. No, that was the only pass that we have. Alright, one more level and we'll be able to unlock an ultimate uh, sort of skill as well. Alrighty, well then let's keep going. Damn, we're at 4 out of 5 on concealment without spending a single point. 3 from item contribution. But that's just lovely. And away we go. It started in dreams. I saw shattered images of the end of Sanctuary. The scales of a great... A serpent carried these visions, and so I went to visit him. My and the serpent's thoughts met, and the fragmented future was mended together. I put it down in order, and the prophecy was born. Hmm. Serpent, you say? Is that, like, a allegory for Diablo or something? Ooh, wow, giant face down there. Somebody isn't having a great time. I need to destroy the tumors to go any further. You need to destroy the tumors, okay. Tumor of Hatred. That was quick. Really? We... The game made us do that? Okay, that's... <laughs> okay. Oh, maybe it was just a tutorial for what we have to do to go through this entire area, and there's probably more of these tumors to destroy there somewhere. Ugh. There's these wormy things everywhere. And we still have not encountered any waypoints. Uh, what is this? Descent. Destroy the tumors of hatred blocking. Okay, well, let's start up here, mostly because it's closer. And find more tumors at... Nope, never mind. Not this way. I guess we're going this way first to where this little sign is. This was really quiet, and there's no enemies in here either. So far, anyway. 
Duck, take tumor. Yeah. It's just like a puzzle location. I wasn't expecting that. Especially without enemies. I also didn't see what that tumor destroyed. Ah, there we go, some enemies. Need more time. This entire building needs some chemotherapy. We're the chemotherapy. Although we're not actually having any effect on the uh, on the structure itself by the looks of it. There's a chest in here. I was not expecting that. Mostly because we haven't encountered a lot of loot in these places. Alright, you are up. The prophecy became my burden. There were others that knew. Ones that couldn't understand the nature of such a thing. I knew that all this would be driven to Believing that it was about him. He saw himself as a savior. Piercing hatred's heart and hell. He saw himself as a savior, huh? Yeah, well, it was becoming pretty apparent that Inarius has some uh, hang-ups about some things. Okay, this loaded corpse thing is taking ages to kill, alright. Uh, what the heck were you firing at, Shadowfell? Did you see that? It was firing at Whoa! Orange pants, and of course our first orange in the campaign or in the run is going to be pants. Of course it is. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I love it. Uh, the quest for pants continues. Let's see what this gives us. Gain a free Dark Shroud Shadow every three seconds when standing still. Each Dark Shroud Shadow grants 3.4% increased damage reduction. Uh, rogue only. Okay, so what I don't understand about this is whether we have to use the Dark Shroud spell or the ability... Ah. Where is it? Damn it. Do we actually have to have points in Dark Shroud? We have one right now. Damage reduction plus 8.4. Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll try this. So, does it activate only at level 1, or does, or is this like a separate Dark Shroud from actual Dark Shroud? Wait, gain a free Dark Shroud Shadow every 3 seconds when standing still. How often do we stand still, though? Hmm. A life regeneration while not damaged recently. Dodge chance, willpower. The dexterity is not bad. We lose two, lose two ranks of concealment for us. Well, let's give it a try. Uh, we can... Uh, I'm not going to put any gems in it for now. So yeah, well, there we go. We do gain the Dark Shroud things. Is it up to... Okay, there's three. How many of these are there? Four. But, wait, is there a maximum of this? 3.4 increased damage reduction. I take it every single hit takes one of these away. Well, at the very least, we got our first legendary item. <laughs> and it's absolutely fantastic that it was pants. Yeah, it does look like every single kit that depletes one of these, but hey, a little bit of damage reduction is not so bad. Maybe we'll actually switch to Dark Shroud at some point. Like the regular Dark Shroud ability, just because we can. And just to combine it with us, lean further into it. I assume that by virtue of having legendaries that do specific things, you are supposed to uh, uh, essentially change your build up to build around them to some degree. Or otherwise, if you have a build in mind, acquire things specifically for that build. Or acquire legendaries that do specific things for that build. Anyway, another tumor down, and down we go. Not going to climb on the tumor vines, apparently. And... Okay, we can't go there yet, I take it. At least I assume so. Wait. Ah, uh, oh, this is just a tumor. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna follow the destroyed vines. Okay, so they're going up here, which means we're going up here next, I think, rather than over there. Yeah, okay, beautiful. We're through here. Yeah, the theme has definitely been continuing throughout this game. Hmm. So now I'm thinking, yeah, so the fact that the pants continues to give us periodic uses of the uh, Dark Shroud thing means we could sort of attack like this, just standing still a little bit more. Though on the other hand, 
I'm not sure that is actually all that beneficial to us, in that we take more damage even if we save a little bit by getting the damage reduction. I need more energy. I gotta say, the, the the Forceful Arrow is really satisfying the way it knocks units back, even if it does, like, no damage, but I guess the purpose of it isn't actually to do damage, so that's fine. Alrighty, well, anyway, uh, Cold Man is done. Let's continue looking for more tumors. Interesting, uh, interesting phrase. Yeah, I need a few more points into the shadow thing. It's starting to not do enough damage to immediately clear out a blob like it was doing before. Alright. Damn, I didn't need to summon the ghost man or the shadow shadow clone. Oh well. Oh, one second, guys. Sorry, I gotta move my cat. Ah, I knew enemies would come by. <laughs> I freaking knew it. Unlike Warhammer, you can't move your cat without potentially uh, getting killed. It was only a matter of time before Norris would discover what I'd done and come demanding the key. Hmm. All right, so it seems like the uh, first necromancer is a chill dude. That's what it seems like, anyway. Probably why they're desecrating his tomb like this. Relax, one second. Oh damn it! I can't. <laughs> Stop meowing at me. One second. It's very distracting when you're trying to kill things. The meows, I mean. Alrighty, another tumor, and we're nearly through, I think. The tomb, I mean. Slay the final tumor. Slay the final tumor. Oh, looks like we actually get to to fight a tumor. Is that what is that what the saying? Is it a living tumor? Well, living tumor. Is it a sentient tumor, oh, perhaps? You refuse to give me the key. You stand in the way of the savior. The holy blood in your veins should be boiling. Nothing you do will change the future I saw. I... I create my own destiny. And this prophecy of yours is just a small part of it. It is wider beyond comprehension of ungrateful spawns like yourself. Isn't the plural of spawn... spawn? Okay. <laughs> I, just, I just correct the angel's grammar <laughs> while, he, while he's talking. I don't know if I'm right or not, but it'll be funny. All you must understand is once I am victorious in hell, the high heavens will welcome me home where I belong. I wish it would be true, Father. All right, first necromancer guy has been the chillest so far out of all the characters. Place. I'm being followed. He clearly didn't get the chill from Inarius. Well, Lilith's kind of chill, just evil. I like these little look things. I mean, if they were, if they went out of their way to do all these levels, which they do look fantastic, you gotta admit, uh, it is nice to actually properly take a look at them all.
I thought the wolf dog was Diablo. Out of energy, okay. Keep him vulnerable and ooh, hello, he summoned some sort of a revenant to attack us. And wait. Oh, that thing is actually helping us, okay. <laughs> and I moved away from it. Uh, what does that do? Okay. Ever since we fought that boss with that blood sucking tentacle thing, I've been very nervous about these guys. The attacks that they telegraph for some bosses are extremely slow, and others are very quick. Don't we never see the angel's face when they're in angel form? Isn't that for all the angels? I think Ty Tyrael was the same until he got humanified. And you could never see his face. And I remember there was an old animation of all the uh, of all the different angels. He also couldn't see their faces. And this thing's kind of a damage sponge, but otherwise it does seem to be reasonably weak, and nothing it does is crazy in terms of damage. I say, even as I get damaged. And down it goes. Hey, a dagger. Damn, I was hoping for a crossbow. Damn, I got two legendaries. Uh, let's see what this does. Rapid fire has a 42% chance to ricochet. We got a freaking rapid fire buff. Oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting that. That was lucky. Uh, I think we're probably going to keep this for a while and probably even uh, uh, upgrade it. <laughs> Damn, lucky. Oh, okay, lucky. Uh, let's take out, let's see, core damage, core skill damage versus all stats and damage to stunned enemies with lots of extra decks. This is level 24, those are this is where, what we're using. Lovely. Oh, I was hoping that it would change the color of the, uh, uh, of the rapid fire. A little bit disappointing that it doesn't do that, but anyway. This guy looks cool. What is, what are you? Knight Penitent, Dawning Father's Grace. Okay. Hi. Oh, is he gonna give him pets? What's happening here? Oh, apparently not. Uh. Vigo, who did this? I have done all that was asked. The pain is gone now. And this. Was it just punishment? A stronger man would have refused Venard's bribe. Nerel. Nerel, is she safe? Yes, she is safe. <coughs> Our meeting is no coincidence. I came here to help. Will you give this to her for me? I should never have taken it. It's so dark. I have repented. Do you think I was too late? No. Not too late. The light has come to carry you home. Do you not see it, friend? Yes. Yes, I see it now. They have come.
I was about to say the same thing. They turned him into a blood dreadnought. Damn. Didn't need that armor to prove your worth, friend. Yeah, that was unexpected. Oh, well, now, now, now I feel bad for Vigo. I feel much more bad for Vigo than I did for, uh... Uh, for Norell and her mother. Uh, anyway, let's see what we got here. A Vigo protecting amulet. Vigo's protecting amulet. Resistance to all elements. Nine damage reduction. Marksman skill damage. Well, considering we're using marksman skills, this is also swell. Uh, control impairment duration. Movement speed. Always nice. When hit while not healthy. A magical bubble is summoned around you for 5.3 seconds. While standing in the bubble, players are... Players are immune, can only occur every 90 seconds. Okay, so this is just a main mission reward, but still nice, and I like the fact that it gives us marksman skill damage. I wonder if it purposely does that. To, oh, but we lose the plus one rank to all subterfuge skills, which is a little bit of a shame, but I assume that it's still probably worth it, considering we do gain marksman skill damage. Especially as we now have the dagger that gives us better rapid fire. All right, well... That was uh, reasonably lucrative, I gotta say. Well, let's hope that this gives us uh, our horse reward. Pursue Lilith. And the pursuit continues. Give me the key to hell. I will not ask again. You don't need to. I saw a vision of the key lifted from my corpse. Under the watchful eyes of the great serpent in my sanctum. If you are chosen as you say, it will come to pass. It's too quiet. Where is she? You should get that armor too. What do you mean? Like the, the blood armor that the guy was spiked into? Probably not a good idea. <laughs> Uh, and oh wow, it's like a, uh, like a tomb place. Okay. I wonder if there's any chests here. Or is it just a cool sort of scenery thing? I doubt that we're gonna find, fight another boss after fighting the boss. Maybe we get, have a little chat with Lilith? Ooh. It's a sh it would be a shame not to go around looking at all the designs here. I do wish that you could move the camera around a little bit more. Yeah, level design is top notch. Is that him? Is that Rathma? Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. There's that great serpent. Neat. Neat. Very, very neat. 
Lilith seems more chill than Inarius does so far, which is kind of interesting. Alrighty, and oh, are we? Can we leave? Are we? Are, do we have to all go all the way back? No, we have. You're no, no. You gotta be kidding me. We gotta run all the way back. No. Wait, wait, wait. That can't possibly be the case. Speak with Narell. Right at the start of this, and we can't leave. And there's no. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like we're running. Yes. Maybe she'll walk towards us. Would that be too much to ask? I feel like it would be. Oh yeah, I'll just have to go by uh, go by Vigo's corpse there. What the heck? Hmm, no, I was hoping that you could zoom out and go... Wait, open journal... Open passage... No, but there was no waypoint there, so it's not like we could teleport to her. Yeah, we have to run. I need more Unbelievable. Time. At least we have some mobility skills, but it's still not enough. Maybe they wanted you to take another look at the uh, at the level design. Ooh. All right, which way? Oh my lord. Time to recharge. Yeah, I know it needs time to recharge. You're running too slow, man. <laughs> Although I'm willing to bet you you probably wouldn't have been able to use horse in here anyway, so it's not like that would have sped it up anyway. I need more time. But there should have really been a waypoint to the start of this place. Alright, at least we're nearly there. Just a little bit more running. It needs Hopefully. Time to recharge. Oh. I thought those were steps down and wasn't looking at the minimap because there's no minimap overlay. All this, I mean, haven't got a chance to try out a rapid fire, uh, a rapid fire dagger. Alright, back across the lake. Is she still here or is she dead? Or is the mother's raised skeleton? What is this? No, you gotta be kidding me. We gotta run all the way there now? <laughs> Speak with Narelle at the Horadric Vault. Yeah, that's where we... Wait. Uh, where are we right now? No, we were we were up here somewhere, were we not? Energizing aspect. Oh, wow, an actual rogue uh, aspect. But, uh... Is this where we were? Or do we teleport? I have no idea. Hmm. Zeleni Lowlands. No, this takes us here. Oh, okay, I guess we're actually waypointing out. All right, fine. I hope I'm not wrong about this. Because if I am, it's too late now, because we've teleported. Ah, I guess we have the town portal, so wait, but if we leave the town, the town portal closes, doesn't it? I guess we're about to find out. I can't do that here. Yeah, but you can do it here. Yeah, 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 it'll be closed once we leave the town, but we're working towards uh, getting to the completion of this uh, particular quest. Okay, guys, guys, not now. Thank you. Okay, those guys died too fast, so I couldn't see the ricochet from the, uh, from the rapid fire. <laughs> okay, well, next time we find an elite, hopefully, or multiple elites, I guess, or an elite with ass. Oh, there we go, there's the ricochet. Yeah, it does work swell. What's the chance of it again? Was It It was fairly high, wasn't it? 42% chance, yeah, so every other shot basically uh, will ricochet. Yeah, I saw the ricochet. Vigo wanted me to give this to you. Vigo... ...wanted you to have this. Oh. He was a good man. <laughs> Debatable. Was she even there? Did you meet her? Already gone. By the time I arrived. There is more. I can see that. Lilith took a key to hell off Rathma's body. <laughs> then it was all in vain. She's the only one who got what they wanted. No, Ralph. 
She came seeking the Haradrim of legend, seeking hope. She found neither, but her part in things was far from over. In truth, we would need her more than she needed us. Didn't seem that way at the time, though, for anyone. Inarius proved to be just as unreliable as I'd feared. His self-obsession had driven him to murder his son, Rathma. And from the corpse left behind, Lilith had taken a key to hell. Where would she use it? We could only depend on ourselves to find out. Okay, so as I understand it, Inarius impaled Rathma with his own stab, but didn't know that the key to hell that he was looking for was inside the staff itself. So that would have all failed if he had actually taken the staff. Am I getting that right? And yes, that was the completion of Act 1. Uh, I take it that... Hmm. I didn't say Donlan's whatever that we needed to do to unlock the horse. I'm gonna double check. Also, what does it say? Venard's gravestone? Here lies Venard, who was ever searching. Now she sleeps at the steps of knowledge. That's not bad. And this goes no. Wait. This is the Haradrim place that uh, Narelle went inside, but, uh, well, I guess we can't go in there as well. Or either, rather. Uh, so, let's go to Margrave and hand in the secondary quest. Then I'm gonna double-check that horse thing, just in case we did the quest and I wasn't paying attention to the names. Not a lot of foresight on Anarius if that was the case. Maybe take the guy's staff. So my mother was a night penitent. Would she have made the same choice if she saw what the world has become? Thank you for bringing this to me. Alrighty, and salvage cash. What is this? One veiled crystal. Thank you. I don't know what that is. That is something that we get from salvaging stuff, but I don't actually know what it does. Uh, probably useful for purposes. Go figure, right? Uh, alrighty, so before I definitely saw a rogue-specific dungeon. Those were the... Uh... Oh, right, there's a quest here, but... Oh. Look at the... You look at that. There's a quest here right beside the rogue dungeon, but look how far away it is. I don't want to run all that way. That's just... That's insanity. Like, how is there no waypoint anywhere here? This is crazy. Why did they do this? Oh, I know why they did this. So you'd spend money on horses? <laughs> no, that, that, that doesn't make sense. Because you, you do get horses for free as well. Okay, well, let's see. Where's the next... Where's that to start? Find Donan. Ah, Donan. Donan's quest is the thing that gives us horse, right? Let's go back to main town for a second. Uh, it was Kiavashad, right? I just want to double check the name of that quest. But if it is Dawn and something, then it is indeed Act 2 quest that will give us horse, which is uh, what we're definitely going to work towards. Though if we start getting out-leveled by stuff again, I think we'll do a few side quests just while we're there. Hey man, this guy's level 35 and his armor looks all put together. Oh, I guess we could do some... play some dress-up by going to the wardrobe. I wonder, does it cost money? The only problem is, we're just gonna keep switching items around, so... Hmm. I could also just do that between the episodes and then we can... Uh, yeah, I'd rather not waste time on screen when we can be getting through the story. Donnan's favor, alright, yeah, so find Donnan, let's go find Donnan. And hey, there's a waypoint to get at least halfway there. You know what, let's uh, stop on by and do this dungeon while we're at it. Pay to win, pay to horse. Hey, at least there's no, like, uh, you know, like, uh, some MMOs have a thing where you can only expand your inventory by paying money. That's real scummy. That's how they get you. And, oh, there's a side quest here. Oh, I couldn't see that side quest on the map, though. But hopefully it's on the way to Dawn and, and the Power of Horse. An arrangement I made went awry, and I was extorted by the ruffian Laskus for protection. He's camped somewhere near the pass to the northwest. Return the gemstones he stole, and I'll make it worth your while. 
How are we sure he actually stole the stones and you're not lying? Why does this character trust what everybody says? <laughs> that doesn't sound like Alfar is. Alright, and here, yeah, that's definitely on the way to Donnan, so that's where we're going. And, ooh, a vent is nearby. Nah, you know what, this, uh, this little uh, dungeon is nearby as well. Uh, ah, what do we have here? Oh, that thing is nearly dead. Uh, I know this is Diablo Live, but can I ask for Greenskin Gabo only a Warhammer 3 campaign? That feels like it would get boring very quickly, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd have a very samey sort of army all the time. Like, you basically have what, like, you know, six Gabo units? You'd probably need to use a mod that heavily increases the amount of Gabo units that are uh, usable. Just to not rely on a single army type, or else it would be all like spider riders and uh, uh, and the Ragnaroks constantly. Yeah. Fanatic archers. A fine harvest for my master. Survive the ritual, slay enemies before they strike by the devour. Oh, oops. Okay, my bad. That's no, okay. We can. I think these events get redone anyway, so we can just redo it later on. Plus, it was on the way, so might as well kill all the extra enemies and gain all that extra XP. Damn, the cooldown on the Shadow Clone is a long, though. Hey, there's that uh, circle of protection thing. I'm waiting to see what that looked like. Yeah, we still get a Radiant Chest regardless, and even a Yellow Boots and some more Murmuring O-Balls, mastery or not. Anyway, we're going to stop by this dungeon and... Druid or not. The Druid is probably the only character I have no intention of playing, mostly because it really didn't click with me in Diablo 2. But as I was saying the other day, I don't think a druid character has ever clicked with me in any uh, in any game ever at any time. I'm not sure why. I just haven't found them fun. Uh, hey, a mommy shrine. Oh, it's been absolute ages since we found a mommy shrine. Lovely. I'm glad we came here. Well. Since the plan was to get here, huh? This area is quite small, isn't it? Uh, yeah, let's go to the Forbidden... Forbidden City. For now, Forbidden City. I wonder how big this place is. Ooh, more demonic stuff. Something about the playstyle just never, I don't know, it just never felt quite as good to me as, uh, as other characters. But then none of the other characters felt as good as, uh, the Javelin Amazon Javazon felt to me, and they still haven't reproduced it. Or even give us a spear character. Hopefully with the DLC. I assume there will be one. Like a character that can actually use spears. They can't possibly leave a weapon class out altogether. They'll do a paladin, which will have maces and shields. Highland, but, uh... Most likely, but then who knows about what other characters they'll do. The only problem with Boazon is the fact that the rogue seems to take the, uh, bow sort of thing. The Marksman Tree is that's as close, probably, to Bozon as we're gonna get, but it doesn't do anything for Javelin lovers like myself. But also, at the same time, I'm going to be, as I was saying, I'm leveling up a second character on Twitch from the start, because doing just the one is not enough. I like my variety, and if everybody ends up voting Druid, I'll still play Druid. Besides, I do imagine that the, uh, 
concept of the class will have changed quite a bit between this and the second game. Does the third game have weird or no? Ooh, level up, nice. Simple crossbow for a line, boots, chipped emerald. Wait, is chipped higher than crude? E, I assume it is. Uh, we're also out of item space yet again. All right, well, we're going back to base briefly. I should... Yeah, that's my fault. I definitely should have uh, stopped by when we were going through the base on the way to the next area. And Donnan and his horse... Isn't or has this campaign become about pants and horse for about 90% of it? Uh... Alrighty, let's see if there's anything useful to us. Uh, so, the bow actually has higher item power than our crossbow, though the damage per hit is lower. It still does have two sockets, though. Plus 20% vulnerable damage versus plus 20%, 24% overpower damage. I'm not sure it's a significant enough upgrade to warrant this, especially as I prefer the vulnerable damage over the distant damage, because that's what our build is based around. Hmm. All right, well, either way, we're getting rid of the magic stuff. Let's take a look at some of the yellow stuff. Amazons have transcended pants. Uh, evade grants 30% of movement, one rank of shadow step. Uh, it's kind of similar to the ones that uh, we were keeping around, but certainly not worth changing our stuff out. Rank of twisting blades? No, not at the cost of rapid fire. That would be crazy. Healing received, two ranks of poison imbuement would be fantastic if we were doing a poison build, but alas, no. Uh, yeah. Still tempting to keep the bow, but I, once again, I think it's not a big enough difference for us to bother. Attacks reduce evades, cooldown, dodge chance, all stats and willpower. A little bit of extra armor. I think we'll keep the ones that we currently have. Physical damage, 367. Damage to chilled enemies, no, we don't do that. And another thing about twisting blades and rank of dark shroud, well, we're not changing our legendary pants out, so that's it. Okay. I just still find it so hilarious that it was pants that we got as our first, uh, as our first legendary. It's almost like the game knew. It knew all along. Uh, let's see, we will... Oh, we should socket stuff. What is good in jewelry? Ugh. I was about to say skull, maybe, but it should probably go into the crossbow, but uh, we'll deal with that after. Uh, jewelry, poison resistance, lightning resistance, resistance to all elements from the crude diamond. We only have the one crude diamond? Damn. We've gotten a lot more of everything other than diamond. All right, well, I guess we'll put the diamond in the uh, amulet. We can always unsocket it later. And then... Armor. I believe we want the maximum life. Let's go with maximum life. And what do you do? Damage reduction while control impaired. You know what? I like that. Let's go damage reduction while control impaired as well. And these are taking a lot of inventory. I do wish that they would finally make a separate, like a gem pouch. Just gem pouch as a separate thing here. Like, they have a separate thing for consumables. Why not a gem pouch, you know? It doesn't need to take up all your inventory space, especially considering how many different types of gems there are and different classes of gems, I guess, there are as you level them up. Uh, also, we still need to upgrade the minor healing potion, which I remembered, but you know what, we can do that after we find the next waypoint, hopefully. If we ever find another waypoint. Unless we found all the waypoints in the entire game. <laughs> well, there's no guarantee I wouldn't enjoy the new form of the druid class. Does anybody know, does the sorcerer or the necromancer classes have a melee build? I'd love to do a melee build rather than a range build for uh, for another run. Although I suppose we could always switch the rogue to range, or to melee, but this, once again, this feels like it's the closest I'm gonna get to a bow Amazon, so, you know. <laughs> Don't give them ideas about the gem pouch being paid DLC. You know they do it, too. Alright, how are we doing? Damn, all these blood maguses with their increased, uh, with their increased HP. Ah, come on, we need them vulnerable. There we go, now they're vulnerable. 
They got low self-esteem. All right, 51, 62, and Strider's Crown, and I guess we'll keep going this way. We'll probably have to go around the entire- Ooh, hello, Resplen- Damn, I got excited by the chest and got attacked by everybody. Just like real life. Uh, go here, and go here. Oh, and I swear I saw a thing that does actually increase damage when you hit the- uh, when you hit an enemy from behind. I was thinking that that wasn't a thing for rogues, but apparently some things that do give you that capability. I know you could do melee sorcerer in three, but it wasn't optimal. Uh, well, I don't really care about what's optimal, so not a big deal for me. I honestly doubt that uh, bow rogue is optimal. I'm willing to bet that stabbing rogue is more optimal, mostly because people talk how overpowered the uh, uh, twisting blades rogue is. Hmm, two shrines, eh? Well, we'll take the greed shrine for now. Oh, I'm not ready. So generally, these games are balanced in such a way that pretty much everything will work, at least to some degree, so... If I could play a melee sorcerer or a melee uh, necromancer, I think I would uh, like that. Oh, now we get the- now we get the circle of protection once most of them are gone, okay. Damn, look at that forceful arrow knocking Big Boy back there. <laughs> Unexpected on such a, a large unit. Uh, we'll keep the lethal shrine here in case we fight a, uh, a more frightening enemy. And shocking blood magus. Oh, that those are sh that's the shocking thing that does these things. These things are pretty threatening. And damn you and your increased HP. Everybody has increased HP these days. You know what? I'm gonna activate the shrines for it. Alright, Shadow Clone, please help us out here. There we go. Alright, not bad. Event complete. Cursed Shrine. Wait, that was an event? Uh. Wait, do we have to go back to the shrine? Yes, we do. Greater rate. I didn't even realize that was an event. Another crossbow, swell. Oh, damn, that... My bad, I didn't realize that it turned into another type of shrine. Uh, enemies drop gold, immune bubble not ready. Oh, no, just back to the greed shrine? Or did we need to do the stuff to activate the greed shrine? Not sure. Not that it makes much of a difference, mind you. Hopefully we don't have to do, like, gold farming runs. Did they add a cow level to, to the third game? Or some equivalent to the cow level? I remember farming that thing. Yeah, Diablo 2 was a lot of fun. I would never say it was, uh, uh, it was a waste of time. I feel like the most games, most uh, most action RPGs that have followed Diablo 2 have just been basically trying to recapture the magic of Diablo 2. To varying good degrees of success. Alright, keep going. We've looped around, but that's fine because it still took us to where we needed to go. And aha! Hello. Alrighty, let's get that Shadow Clone up and running and kill these jerks. Yeah, let's kill the ads first, maybe. Oh damn, I should have applied our skill point before doing this. It's okay though. Oh wow, look at all this lightning balls flying around. Shadow Clone, please attack the same target we're attacking. Damn, Shadow Clone. Hey, I really don't like the targeting of the Shadow Clone. It really doesn't work for me. Like, there's two enemy elites, and rather than attacking the same one, it attacks the other one. When we clearly would get a lot more benefit out of bringing the first one down. <laughs> no, we have not yet achieved course, but we're on the way to the guy uh, that will presumably give us the quest to achieve horse.
believe me, I'm just as bitter about it as everybody else is. But hey, we got our first two legendaries being Pants and the uh, Bone Blade Repeating, which buffs up our Rapid Fire, which we've been using this entire time. And door and track. Can we go through this door? Door is sealed. Okay, not yet. <laughs> uh, I love that spell. It does no damage, but it's, it's just so fun to watch. Poison really doesn't do all that much. At least in, well, in the first world. I'm sure that on the third and the fourth difficulty, standing for a few seconds in poison and you die. Alright, actually that reminds me. Let's get another point in... Ah, probably Shadow Imbuement. We do use it more than anything else, and ooh, wait, 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 Ah, one point. One more level and we get to activate our ultimate. Alright. How do you spend over two hours playing a game with a horse and not unlock it? I think it's record. Well, it's tied to the main quest, and uh, it looks like it's the Act 2 main quest, so it does take a while to get there. Ancient Totem, what do you do? I... What the heck did that thing do? It was just there. It apparently did nothing. I'm sure it actually does do something, but uh, whatever. Ew. Damn. Wait, so are these giant? Are these just like corpses of demons or giants or something? I, I didn't assume that they were alive. You know how in the uh, how in Warhammer the uh, mountains and other natural uh, natural locations they get carved by the winds of magic into like skulls and evil stuff. I assume this was that sort of thing. But maybe it could be. Oh, it's got a lot of similarities. In some ways. With Realms of Chaos stuff, but well, or real world. Well, not real world, but like outer world. With the Winds of Magic doing stuff with stone. There you go. And who are we looking for? Slay all enemies. Okay, so I take it the door opens when we just slay all enemies, or maybe it's one of these bosses. Okay, it's time for Shadow Clone then. And let's do this, this, and... Ah, we got the bubble just as we spawn. Beautiful. And I've been standing that. Okay, you need to make this guy vulnerable. Please fire at the same guy we're firing at, Shadow Clone. Oh yeah, that guy took a little bit to bring down. I guess there was another elite firing on us, so it does make at least some sense. That can be some time until the next Shadow Clone usage, so we'll have to do without. I need more time. Come on. Ah, no guess. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have wasted the Shadow Clone on that because it was already dead, to be honest, but oh well. No big. Especially since we just fought two elites, I doubt that there's another elite right beside me. There's only not much of a difference. There's that other Ancient's Totem. All right, we have to clear out all the Ancient's Totems and that counts as defeating everybody in the, uh, in the map. That's what we're actually doing. Game's not being super clear on that, I gotta admit. Alright, that's invisible out, and I just said that there wouldn't be another elite, and here we go, another elite, of course. And ooh, careful, almost got trapped there, my bad. Yeah, we definitely should upgrade the potions, and- ow, oh, how did that hit us? I thought we were out of the way. I definitely missed the ability to pop down, uh, pop down a poison trap and then knock everybody down who tries to move towards us. All right, down you all go. Ah. ah, lots of elites in this place. Need more time. With the one less now, there we go, more boots. May all our pants be legendary. Since we haven't gotten a yellow, uh, a yellow thing. Play all enemies. Okie dokie. Huh, using a health potion doesn't change or doesn't cancel uh, invisibility, which is great. 
don't know why I expected it to. But hey, who knows? Alright, probably very cl wait, didn't it already say 17 remain? Huh? Odd. Right, didn't we just kill like five guys and it still said 17 remain? Maybe those counted as ads of that one particular hero or elite. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going down. Down to 11, a few more. And we can see, okay, that looks like 11 over there. Huh, but we haven't even been down there. The last time we were in one of those places, one of these places had a chest, so... Alright, get back in the bubble. Oh wow, that's a lot of... Okay, okay, out. I do like the, the ability to appear behind the enemy via the various movement skills that we have. Quite nice. It does be oh no, we're trapped! We can't move! Ah. Wow, okay, that was incredibly close. That was definitely the closest we've gotten to dying so far. Something stunned us. And back away, back away. I want to use another potion. Damn! I forget, have we died at all yet in this entire campaign? I mean, I guess it is it is still the basic game or the uh, first run through. It's not, it's the regular mode, veteran mode, I guess, was the name. So it's unlikely. It needs time to recharge. Okay, damn those spinny lightning webs. There we go. Damn. My bags are full. And our bags are full yet again. Uh, all these gems filling up the slot. Cough, cough, give us gem pouch. Uh, okay, well, we're going back to base for a second. We've got... Oh, we're nearly done this dungeon, though. Does it still have that thing where you lose, like, XP and gold if you die? Did it have that in game three? All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Oh, damn, plus six life on kill or plus two ranks of shadow imbuement. Oh, man, I guess we I guess we got to take the shadow imbuement. It's two ranks. It's a significant damage increase. Unfortunate, but it's two ranks. I can't uh, I can't let that go. Uh, let's see, maximum, okay, that's ranks of poison imbuement, we don't care about that. A slightly better crossbow, but with no sockets, meaning we can't put life on kill back on it. No, I think we'll wait for another crossbow with at least one gem socket. Huh, I wonder if there's a way to, I wonder if the gem person can socket regular magic items or not. Yes, we will uh, see at some point. Mm, pain bird. Okay, no, we can't. We're not going to replace a legendary amulet with that. Uh, this is garbage. The bow has no sockets. And we just lost one of our sources of life steal, so we're not losing the second. Uh, imbuement skill damage increase, just like that thing has. Single socket, though, and plus 15 dexterity over 3.7 damage. I don't know whether that's actually better or not. It is a little bit of extra armor, though. At the cost of a little bit of damage? I assume the 3.7 damage is more damage than the 15 dexterity that it offers us. You know, just just keep it as it is. Uh, 48 thorns, I, I've never cared for thorns. So they never built a character, as I recall, that was based around thorns. And the various action RPGs that have them. And the rest of this is kind of meh. Alright. Hmm. Energy cost reduction at 2.8 and a little bit of extra move speed at the cost of 16 dexterity. You know what, maybe that's not so bad. The extra move speed is always handy. You know what, I think we'll switch the boots, if nothing else. And there we go, the rest of this can go magic, except, and then we'll do... Every time. Always right click, and then we'll do... This, gathering all those materials I know not for. You know, I think it's time to get rid of these, or probably... Well, except for the Shadow Step one. Because I still might try to change Shadow Step out. Alright, and there we go. And back the way we came, we're nearly done with that dungeon. Sturdy gloves. And, ah. Oh. So 
So I guess we gotta go this way and then up that way. All right, fine. Speed on through. And ooh, we only have two potions left. Gotta be careful. Or at least acquire some more. Maybe try not to get damaged a little while or try not to use any healing potions, which might be a good reason to come down here, though I suppose if there's no enemies, then we can't get more potions. Who dares disturb us? Survive the enemy assault, slay bats before they... Huh, I wonder if the ricochet to our... Uh... Our rapid fire is applied to the ghost or not, but the ghost, the uh, clone, the shadow clone. These guys don't do a lot of damage, at the very least. So it doesn't really matter whether we stand still. And... oh no, 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 trap, trap! <laughs> All right, I guess it does matter if we stand still. Damn. All right, clearly the enemies are getting a little bit more dangerous at this point. Gotta be careful. Or start being careful, I guess. That's two close calls in this particular dungeon. And damn, you go, buddy. Damn. I thought it would have been just bats, not not the guy that could stun us for a while. Uh, Chris, Slither Doublet, and one. None of those are super useful to us. Greater Radiant Chest, however. Uh, more Murmuring Oboles, more Pants, and a Weathered Tunic, and a, some and Gems. Alrighty, and that maxed out our... Uh, uh, that maxed out our potions again, which means it was very much worth it to come down here before heading up to the, I presume, boss room. Also, I'm still not sure whether the... Wait. Yeah, whether the preparation thing is... Why wasn't it lit up? Is better. Every energy you spend reduces your ultimate skills cooldown by four seconds. Hmm. I gotta do, like, a timing of it at some point to figure out the significant... Or whether it's significant... Like, bugs living in there, too. Uh, there's... Uh, whether it significantly reduces our cooldowns or not. Resurrected Malice. Alright, this thing is gonna be probably a little bit of a uh, plunge. I figured that would cause fear, but it didn't. Okay, whatever is that, well, let's dodge it. It looks concerning. Lots of these things. It's making shadow clones of its own, or like, is it making shadow clones of us? No, no, they're just archers, and I think they're rogue archers, which makes them look similar to our guy. Which is what had me concerned. Oh damn, these are like... Uh, Alfarius seeking missiles. Ultramarines would pay a lot for those. Ow. Yeah, these do hurt. They need that shadow clone up and running. Here we go, fire, 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 please. Gotta do damage to him while he's not casting. Oh, yes. I didn't mean to get hit by that. Ooh, nice dodge. Damn, that was close. That one might have killed us if it actually had collided. Yeah, it looks like we'll need to be getting at least a few more resistances later on. But obviously, to prepare for the next difficulty. No, 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 stop it. <laughs> Alright, one more set of Shadow Clones should pull this off. Ah, okay, we didn't even need the Shadow Clone. Down you go, buddy. Uh, heavy chest plate and Forgotten Sword. You have unlocked Night Cowler's Aspect, though that is not uh, useful to us because we're not a druid. Fun little fight, though. I've generally been enjoying the bosses in this game so far. Which I think is a pretty decent thing for action RPGs, because their bosses can sometimes be quite lackluster. Uh, let's see. Well, you know, I'm not going to bother taking a look at the uh, items at the current time. Let's leave the place and continue heading out to Horseman.
Alrighty, and destroying that place or conquering it does not clear it of all that uh, gross corruption, but I guess the game is designed with regards to, with regards to, uh, around you coming back to the same places. So. And that also does make sense. The thing I don't like about Shadow Clone currently, as compared to Death Trap or Poison Trap, is that normally we can do... So we have the thing where whatever breaks concealment creates vulnerability, and our crossbow's built around doing damage to vulnerable targets, or a lot of extra damage to vulnerable targets, right? So when we break the concealment and use a trap, it immediately causes everybody to be vulnerable for six seconds, even if it's a massive group, which causes them crazy amount of damage to everybody. Whereas with Shadow Clone, it doesn't do that at all. So there's no uh, real benefit to that, i.e. there isn't a synergy that way. Oh wow, I can't believe I missed that. <laughs> uh, alright. I also forgot what this protective bubble does. It makes me want to stand in it, even though it's not generally a good idea to be standing still as a rogue. Yeah, I just want to double check what that bubble does. Uh, healthy, a magical bubble is summoned around you for 5.3 seconds. You are immune, meaning what? What does immune mean? Characters cannot be damaged and all control impairing... Wait, characters cannot be damaged? Are you kidding me? Oh, so you literally can't be hurt. Oh, wow, okay, no, never mind, that's good. I didn't think it made you invincible. That's a big difference. All right, mines are these little uh, dun ooh. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this mine. Looks nice. Uh, these are relatively short areas. And hello. Oh, look, somebody possessed. If we had poison traps, we could set them all up around you. My, my friends were cut down. I won't last on my own. No, you won't. Oh, what do we have to do? Defeat five waves, slay as many before time runs out, and keep the wounded adventurer alive. Well, if they spawn a little faster, we could kill them a little bit faster. I don't want to pop the Shadow Clone yet, mostly because I figure we'll need it for the enemy elite. I mean, you can't take anymore. Either you die or you... Well, either you take more or you die. That's, that's what's happening here. Okay, I think we need to pop the clone because it's taking too long to kill these things up. It's too damage spongy. Twelve seconds more. Alright, come on, come on. Dish it out. Wish we had that death trap. I wish the enemies wouldn't try to keep back away from us. Another way? Oh, no, no, it's just the last way. We have the check mark, so we should get a, uh, a radiant chest for that. Oh, yeah, we're just invincible on this thing. It doesn't last long, but the five seconds of invincibility is quite long for a uh, for an ARPG, I would say. There we go. Alrighty, and you, you up? You okay? You, Did you hurt your knee? Without you. I'd be dead. I think I can manage from here. Please, take this. Greater Radiant Chest and, hey, another crossbow. Let's check that one out. Please have slots. You have two slots and you do more damage. You have no extra dexterity. You have the same amount of vulnerability damage. Hmm. Damage to distant enemies and damage to crowd-controlled enemies. So I guess the question is whether it is worth it to get the plus 45 damage. I would assume so. We'll switch it, uh, we'll switch it out. Well, I guess we could technically switch it now with the same exact, uh... Nah, no, wait, but this is a better skull. A higher level skull than this one. This is a crude skull. Two life on kill versus five life on kill. Alright, we'll, we'll switch that to town. When we get back to town, I mean. Alright. Quest for Horse continues. Alright, there's a little side quest nearby that we will stop by at, because it's right here on the way. Okay. Wolves, please stop. Okay, 
Yeah, most likely that'll make you vulnerable. There we go. Alright, so close to that uh, ultimate point in our skill tree as well. What are we doing here again? Uh, finding some guy. Luskus the Cold-Hearted. I've come for the gemstones belonging to Meros. Meros sent you. That spineless merchant. Ha! This will cost him dearly. Wait, how will this cost him dearly? I don't think he cares if we die. He doesn't even know us, we just accepted a quest for him. Also, I think that cost you a little bit more dearly, bud. Alrighty, well, down goes he, and that's it for the quest. Let's continue to Horseman. I will forever remember Don and his Horseman, because he... <laughs> even without having met him. Now, there's probably a few more places that we need to visit in a few of these zones. We're going to get back to them later on, you know, once we're at a higher level, maybe. Because we're obviously missing mommy shrines in several locations. And I guess finding mommy shrines will be good for a second level up, because it'll make it go faster by virtue of powering up all characters at the same time. Alright, there's another. Of course it's not a ro- Hey, can I take a look at the map for one second? It's not another rogue aspect. Oh, speaking of the rogue aspects, wait. Uh, I saw those aspects earlier. But I no longer remember where they are. Okay, here's is this this no. There was like a there was like a menu that showed us a bunch of stuff. Collections? No, that's not it. Social clan shop and game, not it. Uh, well, okay, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out between the episodes. I'll take a look at the key bindings and see which uh, which opens that particular tree. Oh. Uh, well, we'll come back for that. I want to get to Dawn and hopefully the Waystones. Uh, it's just here, though. Just a regular one, though, so I doubt it has anything useful. Well, I could agree that gold is useful. And the fact is, if we keep resetting skills, gold will remain useful as long as we do. Some merchants also randomly sell yellow stuff, which means we might encounter something that buffs a skill that we currently use a lot. So there could still be a use for gold. What other uses are there for gold in this? Hmm. Okay, nothing over here. Great, yes. great. Thank you, game. Oh, this place looks different, though. At least from the places that we've been so far. And please, please, Waystone, please. I beg of you. There's got to be one in here, right? No? Are you kidding me? There's no Waystone here either. No, seriously, what the heck is wrong with the game designers? Are you kidding me? This can't possibly be the case. Can't Maybe there's one in here, please? This is unbelievable. Wait, wait, yellow thing? Maybe they're standing on a waystone? Please. Commander Ant... Speak to the watch commander. You're not Donan. You're not I Horseman. Ardrim, named Donan. An old friend of his sent me. At this hour, I'd wager he's in the keep. Check with the guard at the door. I, I just want a waystone. Please. <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, go back around. Town. What? All right, town. Can't use dash. Must move slow. He's upstairs in the great hall with his son. Keep it quick. I'll keep it quick, as quick as a horse, perhaps. Dun dun dun. Oh, nice mosaic. Oh, look at that. Wait, so is that, is that Diablo and a bunch of spears and... I don't know. Maybe somebody from this church, perhaps? Dad, I need to be out in the field with the other knights. Why the rush, my boy? You know, I, I found some of my old Horadric tomes. Stay here, and we can go through them together. I can take some with me. We have a visitor. This discussion is not over. Is there something you need? I have a message from Lorath. 
Well, there's a name from another life. <laughs> Has the old man finally come down from the mountain? With a warning. An ancient evil walks the land. The demon Lilith. And you know this how? Did you and Lorath discover something of interest? Perhaps this is all connected to what you saw, Father. <clears throat> yes, I was just getting to that. <laughs> uh, there was an incident at my estate. Uh, probably best if we discuss it there. Go and have a look around for yourself. I'll meet you shortly, and then we can talk more. As for your request, <sighs> get to Bracetag. And be careful. Stay close to the other knight's penitent. I will. Don't worry. Hey, we got that level. Okay, that is, well, perhaps not as important as course, but we do get our final level up. Who's evil? The rich man? Uh, okay, so what were we doing with... So we're not currently using the trap ability, so we're probably not going to go with the... Uh, trap one uh skills grant a stack of moment oh cutthroat skills so i take it that that is rogue of the stabby variety as opposed to marksman skills which are down here uh this is damaging a close enemy with marksman or cutthroat skills uh seems unreliable as we do want to take distance a lot of the time and then a lucky hit dealing direct damage to a vulnerable enemy has up to a 30 percent chance of causing an explosion dealing 23 percent of the original damage to them and to surrounding enemies well, it looks like that's probably useful if you have a big attack lined up on vulnerable enemies but i assume that this that rapid fire fires multiple bolts right so if it's only the first bolt that calculates the damage it's probably not that much yeah fire five arrows each dealing 291 damage which is very little it's in combination that that's a lot which means victimize is relatively useless to us unless we combine it with a uh, a very hard hitting attack Probably wouldn't work with rapid fire, which means I guess we're going to go for precision for now. Critical strikes with marksman skill grant you precision. 4% increase critical strike damage per stack of precision. And we do have something that increases critical strike on vulnerable targets, so... Yeah. When you reach maximum precision, your next marksman skill is a guaranteed critical strike that deals 40% increased damage. Huh, I wonder. And does guaranteed critical strike apply... To only the first arrow, or does it apply to every arrow fired by rapid fire? Hmm. Each subsequent arrow from rapid fire has 5% increased critical strike chance up to 25 for the fifth arrow. It feels like it would only apply to one, which again wouldn't be very good. Oh man, are we gonna have to switch out of rapid fire? They can't have built the character around a way that rapid fire doesn't work for most skills, can they? That'd be weird. Penetrating shot was the one that did a lot of damage in a single uh, in a single thing. I mean, I guess later on we could try penetrating shot and then build it up to do a lot of crits. But then we wouldn't recover our energy when using rapid fire, which was part of what this build was build was built around. But we'll play with the builds a little bit more uh, later on. Anyway, the estate is of course far away, and we will have no way to get back to town via waypoint because the game decided not to give us any ever at any time. Waypoints were more plentiful plentiful in the other games, weren't they? I don't remember being this annoyed about the lack of waypoints in Diablo 2. Not even close. Yeah. Alrighty, well, you know what? I think this is going to be the beginning of the next quest. The guy didn't give us a horse immediately, so I take it we'll actually have to do something for him. So I think this is probably where I'm going to call this particular stream. This was going to be a three-hour stream, roughly, anyway. I think I'm going to stream again tomorrow, and the plan was to do so a couple of times, both here and on Twitch at different times in the day. So you guys do feel free to come by if you feel like I'm going to post info about that 
in the community tab once I decide on the times and whatnot. I still gotta figure out how Twitch exactly works in terms of the uh, technical aspect of it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for all the tips and pointing stuff out when I missed it, as I was saying when the derp comes upon me. Uh, more Diablo to come and other streams, including Bolt Gun, hopefully later on this week. So, and do stay tuned for that. Thanks for joining me yet again. All glory to the algorithm. And thanks for watching.